So yeah, we're going to be finishing off KOTOR today, I'm pretty sure. Which should be no problem. We're pretty close to the end, so... I don't know how long this stream will be. Uh, but probably a decent amount of time. Today is my birthday, t turning 26. Oh my god, happy birthday. Uh, 26 is a pretty good, it's a pretty good age. You know, you're starting to, you're starting to, um, you're starting to really, you know, get up there, feel like you'd, you might have some grasp on life. <laughs> but at the same time, you're still in your 20s. Thoughts on Prince of Persia trilogy from back in the day? As you can see, do you mean the original trilogy? Uh, as you can see, I have this game, and I've never played this game. <laughs> I don't remember. I got this. I got this box a long time, a while ago. I was actually gonna do a video on it, and then I never did. Uh, I played the. F I played ha like halfway through the fir very first one. More so on the GameCube era. Yeah, so that's the one that I started with. Uh, I, I haven't played a whole lot of Warrior Within, but I've I've beaten. The Prince of Persia Sands of Time, that game is fucking amazing. And I've beaten Two Thrones, and that game is pretty good. <laughs> and I've also beaten the, the, re, the like, um, reboot one for the 360, which I know did not do well at all. A lot of people really hated it. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty good, though. Also, I, I enjoyed the art style. I know everybody hates the art style. But it's like, it's like pre-Borderlands. It's not a, I don't think it's actually cell shaded, but it's meant to look like that cartoony kind of stuff. Borderlands is also not cell shaded. Um, but it's meant to, it's, but it's funny because Borderlands is a game that's designed to look like it's cell shaded, but not cell shaded. And I think the reason why they did that is because when you can't have, you can't have a ton of detail with cell shaded games. Uh, it starts to kind of, kind of muddle together and look weird. But, am I eating food? Oh, well, I have potato chips, but yeah, I have I have a pita pocket, uh, which is uh, quite delicious. Hard hard salami. Usually I have pepperoncinis in my pita pocket, but I did not have time. People love the challenge of the Prince of Persia games, and the remake took that all out. Yeah, that's true. The remake didn't have... It wasn't as puzzly, was it? It's been a while since I played it. But it was more, it was more just run, do a weird boss battle quick time thing and then run again <laughs> i wonder what they were trying to because it wasn't i mean it wasn't god of war-esque i wonder what they were trying to like imitate especially you know i guess that maybe that was probably before ubisoft just tried to imitate what everybody else was doing <laughs> what's a pita pocket what what the fuck oh my god a pita pocket it's a it's bread it's like a piece of bread that um you can, it's like, it's a, it's pita bread, I guess. I guess it's, I don't know if pita bread's like actually a thing. But, I mean, it is pita bread. Uh, and then, usually what you can do is you cut it, you cut it down the middle, and it's like there's a big pocket in the middle and you can stuff shit into it. Sounds like a fancy Hot Pocket. Uh, I, well, I mean, it's way better than a Hot Pocket. <laughs> you take the pita and put it in your pocket. What don't you get? It's a burger? <laughs> I don't, that's not quite right. Um, yum pita, I know, fucking pita bread's my favorite. Okay, I guess let's play this game. Let me close all of these bazillions of windows I apparently have open. Let me close Audacity. Let me not close stream elements, because that would, that would shut down the stream. <laughs> that would be bad. Alright, uh, KOTOR 1, that's the game we're playing. And it's the game we're finishing. I've had pita burgers, they're tasty. Oh, really? Hmm. That actually sounds pretty good. I don't know. Do you like? Do you take two? I'm so food inside flatbread. Yeah, that's that's basically what it is. That's pretty. That's pretty accurate. I meant pita as in the company. Oh yeah, forget about those people. Um, what the fuck was I about to say? Steak and cheese with pita from Subway is my go-to. That, oh shit, I never even, wait, they have pita bread? Usually I'll get like a flatbread, or I'll get, um, if I'm just going like a regular Italian sub sandwich, I'll go, um, you know, the sub, <laughs> the sub bread. People more like degenerates. Well, I don't know why degenerates is blocked, but I can allow that. Degenerates isn't really that, it's not really that bad of a word. 
I don't think anybody's really getting... I don't think really, people are really getting offended when they're called a degenerate. Looks like a pita pocket, but with a burger patty. So, okay, I was about to ask that. So it's like, just like... Because I would imagine, like, you chop, chop up the hamburg. I don't know. I guess you'd have to have a pretty tough pita pocket. The one I have falls apart when you as when you look at it. <laughs> it's not a strong pita... But it's also, like... It also has, like, zero... There's, like, no carbs in it. It's like... Uh... A whole pita pocket in this is 10 carbs, and then four of it is, or s how much of it? Five of it? Four or five of it is fiber. Uh, and when you have that little in this much bread, it just falls apart. <laughs> it just it just falls, tears apart so easily. If you're from Maine, you gotta know the Walmart in Wyndham. Of course I know the Walmart in Wyndham. <laughs> Wait, have you been... I was... Wait, you were... Wait. Wait, you were born in the Walmart in... What? This... To be fair, that's the most Walmart thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I, mean, I guess that's not really that surprising. There's a frozen thing I got from the supermarket. Oh. Huh. Maybe I'll have to check. Are you diabetic? No. Thank God. <laughs> I just had, like, too many cookies and cheesecake. I was trying to... Oh, wait. You guys can't see this. I was trying to be healthy... And then I had a celebrated Labor Day, and now there's like a big bag of chocolate chip cookies and like an entire cheesecake and barbecue chips and all that. But all those plans went out the window. I have pizza. I fucking love pizza. Pizza is so good. Uh, wait, it should automatically be able to see this, right? He is IBS and lactose intolerant. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I'm not even entirely sure if I'm lactose intolerant. I think I'm slightly, but IBS is the big issue. So yeah, all this stuff, all that stuff destroys me. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies, uh, well I guess cheesecake actually not so much because it's cheese. And, well I guess this, well no, it's it's not hard cheese, it's like a soft cheese, so there would be still some more lactose in there. But it's not too bad. Healthy enough. I went to Ikea and brought me bought me a bunch of Swedish junk food, oh my god. Didn't they get rid of, didn't they get rid of, like, the meatballs outside of Ikea? I've never been to an Ikea, but as far as I am aware, that's, like, the only reason to go. <laughs> like, just to get the meatballs. Like, you get the meatballs, and then you walk around Ikea, and you go, like, yeah, it's a bunch of furniture. <laughs> and then, and then you, you go home. And on your way out, you get more meatballs. I'm lactose intolerant, but I don't care lactose supplements help with that. That's true. They do. If I'm gonna have a, if I'm gonna have, no, I'm gonna have, like, a ton of lactose, and I'll just take some of that, and it's not really a big deal. It's made with cream cheese. Cheesecake? Yeah. So cream cheese is a pretty... The softer the cheese, the more lactose is in it. The harder the cheese, the less lactose. But that's because, you know, like, if you, if you look at the sugar qu quantity, that'll tell you how much lactose is in it. That's all you really need to know. Okay, uh, what the fuck are we doing? I think we've... Have we done everything? Let's go talk to Candorous, because I don't... We haven't... Oh yeah, we did, because he, he had his friend Jaggy, and then we killed him. And Bastille is gone, so we can't do her quest. Joey Bindo, we've done his quest. HK doesn't have one. Uh, Zalbar, I don't know if he has one, because I mean, Kashyyyk is his entire thing, so... T3, why would he have one? And Karth, we fucked up, so I guess there really is nothing else to do. Oh, you know what, before we go though... Wait, I've already been to Yavin, right? So, I don't think I need to do that, actually. Wait. Wait, I thought we did that. Did I ro load the wrong save or something? Actually, you know what? I can tell by looking at... Okay, yeah, so I got the special lightsaber crystal. So that would have been after... I think that would have been after it. Wait, let's just talk to him. Yo, what's up? What about Jen? Yeah, what do you want? Tell me about when you worked. What? Working for Davik. Assassin. I get until you can. But. Shut up. It, it, it has big. Tr tr you have. You're Did we not kill Jackie? Wait, let me see if I loaded the wrong one. So there's this one. That would have been the save I would have made. That's the latest. Yeah, whatever. You know what? Fuck it. We did it technically. It's been recorded. 
So this is all that really matters. Let's head to fucking. Let's get to the place we need to go. Can you romance anyone as a girl? Oh shit, we should probably talk to Jahani before. Oh wait, no. We talked to. We romance Jahani on the planet that we go to. So yeah, you can. You can romance Karth as a girl, but why would you? Because he sucks. Or you can romance Jahani. I think that's it. <laughs> I don't know if you can romance anybody else. Did you watch the Rings of Power? I did. And it's honestly good. People are crazy. People are crazy if they think this bad. I mean, even even if it, even if like your argument is, it's not as good as it's not as good as the original movies. It's better than the Hobbit movies <laughs> by a long shot. So it's not like like the Hobbit movies already set the bar so low that it doesn't really matter how good it was because it was gonna be better than that. <laughs> it was gonna be better. Like you know what I mean. <laughs> So I don't know, maybe that's why I enjoyed it, because like, my my enjoyment of, of The Lord of the Rings was crushed so hard by The Hobbit that... And I was really excited about The Hobbit. The Hob I'm a big fan of The Hobbit. Actually, I, I learned to read like proper books with The Hobbit. So like, that's where I started out, you know what I mean? I had the original Rankin Bass movie, I have the graphic novel. Speaking of Lord of the Rings, did you know Christopher Lee was the only person in that movie who met Tolkien? Uh, I did, actually, I, you know what? I didn't, I didn't know that. I knew he met him. I didn't know anybody else had him. That makes sense, though, because he was a massive fan. He was, I mean, Christopher Lee was, like, he's probably the main consultant. He was, aside from, I think Simon Tolkien was a consultant on those movies. But Christopher Lee was, like, the guy who's like, whoa, wait a minute. You're stepping a little too far out of the Tolkien zone here, my friend. Why do you want to leave now? I think it's funny though that um, I keep on seeing I keep on seeing these posts that are like J.R.R. Tolkien would hate the new the the Rings of Power show. Like it's such a sl it's such a slap in his face. But like it's also the only, <laughs> but this is the first time where the Tolkien estate has been in, like, working directly with Amazon to produce the show. So you have, like, all of his grandchildren helping make this. <laughs> and it was also a great, like, and this was, like, originally decided that they would help them when Christopher Lee, Tolkien's son, was still alive. And he hated the movies? And also didn't think that they should be movies at all. <laughs> so it's like, look, I'm gonna be honest. If if I'm gonna trust on anybody's opinion on what Tolkien would have preferred, I'm gonna trust the people who literally grew up with him. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm gonna trust his actual family over some fuckwit on the internet. He hated the cartoon version. He would have hated the P Peter Jackson films no matter how hard they tried. I think you're probably right. I would have loved to see Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro's take on The Hobbit, though. At least it would have been something. The biggest issue with Peter Jackson is he, they were flying by the seat of their pants. Like, they had no script, they had no storyboards, and they were just making it up as they went along. <laughs> it, it shows. It really shows. Lee was told by Tolkien that he could have been Gandalf. I think he, prob I think he probably would have done a good Gandalf. Maybe if maybe if he was a little bit younger at the start of those movies, um, then he could be a little bit more live, a little bit more lively. I haven't watched it, but their main critique, aside from the real dumb stuff, is about writing and dialogue. Sorry for repeating. The writing is fine. It's the the only the only really dumb thing about the writing is in the very beginning. There's like this really boring exposition, which if you don't know enough about the Lord of the Rings, will confuse you, and if you know. It's, it's like, at the same time, way too vague and way too specific. <laughs> and, like, it's not, it's not helpful for anybody. Thoughts about the announced Gandalf and Aragorn single movies? Those are actually, those aren't yet announced necessarily. There's something... So the Tolkien Enterprises, which is not the Tolkien estate. The Tolkien Enterprises are the people that J.R. Tolkien sold the, the film licenses to. So... And then those people so then sold it to Warner Brothers, and then later sold it to Amazon. So Amazon has the rights to... They have the rights to do some of the stuff in film, 
but not all of the rights. But now another company, Embracer Group, bought Token Enterprises, and now they have the rights to whatever's left. <laughs> it's all a mess. It's a fucking mess. But yeah, so that's what they're talking about doing. I don't know if they'll do it, though. I don't know if I'll be happy with anyone other than Vigo playing Aragorn. He did so good. Yeah, I... That's the, that's the hard thing for me, is... You kind of... From watching the movies, you have, like, a visual idea of what these characters are just from, like, their performances. And it is a bit jarring. Like, Elrond is played by a guy who looks nothing like him. And so it is a little bit jarring in that sense where it's like, it's hard to see him as Elrond, even though he's doing a... He's doing a good job. It's just it's just weird. Joking, Rokin, Rokin, Tolkien. Yeah, that's his real name. That's his full name. I was struggling for the word to use, but yes, yeah, just thoughts on that. It would be hilarious if they got Viggo Morrison to play Gandalf. Since he's, I really doubt Viggo, Viggo Morrison. Actually, you know what? Maybe he would be willing to come back. He he notoriously hated doing Two Towers and Return of the King, because those were also not very well like they didn't really have a script because they start filming right out of the gate and they weren't really prepared and fortunately those movies turned out fine and then peter jackson's like ah well you know we did it with those movies we can do it with the hobbit and then it failed <laughs> they filmed all three at once yeah they 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 were prepared to do the first movie and then see how it did but then the studio was like no we're gonna we're just gonna go right into it we're gonna start filming these and they weren't prepared at all I thought he was upset because he kicked the helmet and broke his toe. Well, yeah, I mean, he was upset about that, too. I'm sure there's many things he was upset about during the filming of those. <laughs> okay, anyway, I guess let's uh, let's head to... We don't need to go to Yavin. Let's go to the Starforge system. This is where we're going, guys. This is the next big planet. The planet has no entry in the Republic archives. Look, all I'm saying, if, if, you, if you take the advice... From that that Jedi librarian who was talking to Obi Wan, if it's not in the Jedi archives, it doesn't exist. I don't know why we're going to this place because there's no archives. This is clearly not a real place. I wish you could romance HK47. If that if really it's not going to show the cutscenes, what the fuck? Oh, it's because I have oh it's because I have it turned off. There we go. So what's my favorite of the three movies? You know, that's kind of tough, because I I enjoy all of them for different reasons. I think, you know, I think my favorite, my the one I'm probably, I probably enjoy going back to the most is the Fellowship of the Ring, just because it feels the most Lord of the Ringsy. I I think of my favorite when it comes to action is the Two Towers, and I think the Return of the King wraps it up pretty well, but there's a lot of... It, it, it just kind of feels like, I don't know, it just kind of, it fe it do, you do feel in Return of the King that it's a little bit uh, disjointed, I guess you could say. You can tell that the story wasn't all put together. Oh, oh my god, thank god we can see this cutscene. I forgot his maniacal laughter. Her name was Jill Costa New. Thank you. I, 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 I always forget her name because she sucks. You think torture will turn me, Malik? You are a fool. Torture? No, dear Bastila. You misunderstand. This is but a taste of the dark side oh, bro. to whet your appetite. When you Man, he's like he's like a major pervert in this scene. I never really. I mean. Willingly. I never really thought about it. <laughs> I guess, I mean, you know, if you're a big villain, obviously you're probably also going to be like a pervert himself, you know what I mean? That makes sense. Bioware added Kemval Romance to Swator. Wait, it, you couldn't you romance him before? Oh my god. I never tried, so that's why I didn't know it wasn't an option. Power can be yours. <laughs> I wish we could romance the librarian lady. <laughs> you know in the you know in the Revenge of the Sith video game where you go and you gotta kill her? What if instead you could like you could kiss her? <laughs> you pick her up and you kiss her and then you and then you you know then then you go off into the distance and leave Padme behind. <laughs> She's like, what you fucking left with the old fucking boomer like librarian? Are you kidding me? 
I'm just gonna shock her until she turns evil. I think I think it's supposed to be not actually electrocution, but he's like f shooting actual dark side force into her to corrupt her. I think that's what it's supposed to be, but obviously that does not come off very well. <laughs> or either that or they didn't think about it. <laughs> they just they're just like, yeah, whatever. She's shocking her until she's evil. <laughs> the Starforge. I've never seen anything like it. To be honest, it doesn't I'm look that wild. <laughs> I've never seen anything Being like this. A big spaceship. Uh, you sure? Because I feel like we were just at one. We just wait for the Republic to show up. Tell me what they've won. A Chocasta new car! <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Oh my god. Small vanguard of Sith fighters coming in hard. Dark side if a sexy twilight twilight. Well, Take fuck, I didn't get to read all that. They report our position to the main fleet. Would you rather live in Star Trek or Star Wars? Obviously Star Trek. Star Trek is like utopia future. That's literally what Star Trek is supposed to be. It's like, I think it's funny when people say that Star Trek is like, uh, isn't like, they're like, Star new Star Trek is woke. Old Star Trek wasn't woke. Old Star Trek was really, was literally a socialist utopia future. Like, it's like, that's what it was. Like, I don't know what, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's, it's everything that you would hate it to be. Like, they don't even, there's no money in, Star, in the Star Trek universe. Everybody just lives out their lives fantastically. And, unless, of course, we're talking about the uh, cinematic Star Trek universe with um, Chris Pine, in which case that one sucks. But does it suck more than Star Wars? Probably not. A lot of wars in Star Trek. That's true. You know, maybe you'll get turned into a Borg. But if you live in... At least if you're turned into a Borg, you, you still have some sentience. Like, there's a chance of you coming back. If you're in the Star Wars universe, they turn you into a Lobot, you're gone. You're just a Lobot for the rest of your life. It doesn't matter. If they take that if they take that device off your head, you're just... You don't exist. Life is woke because minority exists. Life is too woke. I can't believe other people exist. Not enough Trek in Star Wars. That's true. Hold we could on. we could use more trekking. Be a rough Unless of course you're the Yu Jong Vong, in which case you trek across the galaxy and do a bunch of perverted stuff to everybody. <laughs> Yu Jong Vong were weird, man. <laughs> they were fucking weird. That was a weird time for Star Wars. A military runs the Earth and other planets. Uh, are they military? I think I mean I'm pretty sure in the original one they're not supposed they're supposed to be like almost demilitarized. I think and they're definitely more of a military in the cinematic universe. They're definitely way more of a military. Um, I think they're supposed to be Woo! like a Talk about your like you know how in, in the prequel trilogy of Star Matter. Wars. Oh, like sorry, she's talking. I'm talking over. I'll let her talk and I'll finish. That disruptor field I'll let her finish and then I'll talk. I mean. We're lucky we made it down in one piece. But if I can't find the salvage to make repairs, I won't even be able to get the Evan Hawk airborne again. Well, the odds of that are really low, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the odds of us finding the right parts for this ship. When do you think America's Space Force will get a Space Navy? That's a good question. Well, the real question is, when do you think America's Space Force will have a That's person who's been in space? <laughs> That's the real question. Where could it be coming from? Even if we get the stabilizers fixed, we have to find and disable the source of that disruptor field before we can take off. Otherwise, we'll just end up crashing again. Okay, Karth. All right. Well, what the fuck was I saying? Oh, yeah. I, th I think the Star Trek... Like, the, the original Star Trek governmental system is supposed to be like the idealized version of the prequel trilogy democracy but the prequel trilogy democracy is what that system would actually be like it would just suck <laughs> it's just there's no military if you're out in the in the nowhere zone and you need somebody to help you you're just fucked because the government has no way of actually helping you because <laughs> they don't have a military they don't have, really have a police force they just have nothing and all the all the politicians suck like, that's what it really would be. <laughs> Have you seen the episode Frame of Mind from the Next Generation? Which one is that one? Oh, that sounds really familiar. I might have. I've seen a, I've seen a lot of random episodes. I haven't seen, like, all of them. Do they ever give a lower reason why the Republic demilitarized? I don't know. A lower reason. That makes sense. I don't know why they don't really have a military. I, I, I think it probably has to do with the Jedi. I'm pretty sure the whole point is like the Jedi, that, that's the space police. 
it at that point in time. So it's like, we, why would we need an actual military when we have, like, <laughs> the wizards that can go solve all the problems? <laughs> you know what I mean? Which is also kind of why everybody hates the Jedi, because they're the they're the cops. They're like fuck the fuck the police. Uh, okay, uh, the dis that disruptor field could wipe out the entire Republic fleet. Wait, is there a Republic fleet here? There's nobody here. I wonder why the Sith ships aren't affected by the disruptor field. They must have some kind of protection against it, but the Republic fleet won't. That's true. We have to find a way to disable that disruptor field, or the Sith will slaughter them. Okay. That's a really T3 good point, T3. Up massive power fluctuations on the ship's sensors. They seem to be coming from some type of large stone structure to the east. It looks like some kind of ancient What does temple. dupe and Futurama stand for again? I don't know. I don't know. Wait, I don't know if I... Futurama is also a show where I've just seen random episodes of... So if I remember correctly, the demilitarization of the Republic happened after the New Sith Wars when the Jedi built a literal army to fight the Republic and that just became their military. Okay, so yeah, that's what I assumed. It's just the Jedi's the, the, Jedi's the military. <laughs> that's what you want. You want a bunch of people who, if they betrayed you, there's literally nothing you could do about it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like how the Justice League, like in, the, in DC, like the Justice League, you know... A, if they, if they, if you have no, if you have no defense against the rogue Justice League, you're just fucked. <laughs> you screwed. What are you gonna do if Superman goes evil? I know what you do. You call, you call on Harley Quinn, Deadshot, and Boomerang, and <laughs> Captain Boomerang. Those guys will defeat. <laughs> that's the, that's the team you want to defeat, freaking Superman. Oh, Democratic Order of Planets. Oh, that makes sense. I like the Wookiee just standing there with a the sword. That's true. He's just chilling, man. You all seem to be forgetting Bastila. Hey, I thought we need to find some stabilizers for the ship. You all seem to be forgetting about Bastila. They're, then they're going to say, we didn't forget about her, you fucking idiot. We haven't forgotten about her, but yep. we can't do her much good stuck down here. We have to help ourselves before we can help her. I only hope we're not too late. Bastila has been Malak's prisoner for a long time. If he can turn her to the dark side, she will join him and the Sith will be invincible. You'd hope you have Batman's contingency plans against all the Justice League members. That's true. Batman's probably the only one who has... But he's probably the only, like, regular person who has any chance of stopping a rogue Justice League. Um, but even then, usually when Superman does go rogue, Batman doesn't really... can't really stop him. Because it's something he's planned for, but it's all theoretical. He has no way of, like, testing that out. You know what I mean? Relax, he's just being shocked with evil power. <laughs> Batman's not a regular person, he's a billionaire tech genius. But I'm no, I mean like a non super powered. Like he's not he's not like a he's not like a an alternate to Superman, you know, like Martian Manhunter could probably stop Superman on like by himself. Batman took my frozen peas. Um but I mean like, you know, in a team of, in a suicide squad of Captain Boomerang, you know, fucking Death, Deathstroke, Deadshot, or who, what other, any other dead man, Harley Quinn, of, in, a, in a super, su in like a team of just regular non non superhero like super powered dudes, Batman's the only one in that team who could do anything. <laughs> so my buddy Joe could drop Superman. Yeah, but could Goku be Superman? That's the question. Um... Even together, they are no match for me. Bastila would, would never turn to the dark side. I fear Bastila will find the lure of the dark side difficult to resist. She is strong in the Force, but she is also impulsive, willful, and proud, as you once were, Revan. That's true. Another thing I didn't watch but keep seeing discussed online is She-Hulk. Yeah, everybody's real upset with She-Hulk because it features a, a woman. <laughs> I think the main thing is She-Hulk is it's a it's a show that's not for like most MCU watchers. Like it's just a it's a it's like um a sitcom. You know, it's a sitcom essentially. It's not it's not a typical action Marvel movie. And that really throws people. And then you add in the fact that it's also, you know, it kind of pokes fun at the universe and whatever. She-Hulk is just not big enough for me. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't disagree. Why the fuck she gotta be... She's like... She's she's like... <laughs> just... 
as, as big as like a normally big person. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm glad Joe Biden is finally accepting his status as Dark Lord of the Sith. He does kind of look like he does kind of look like a, the Sith Lord. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He looks like he looks like the guy that Anakin would be like. I it, I think he's the Sith Lord we've been searching for. Sea Hulk is the worst thing Marvel did in the last years. Maybe. I don't know if it's necessarily the worst thing. And honestly, I think all of it is on par. I think it's all pretty much all of the same quality. I, I think the big issue really is that, like, you had you had Infinity War, Endgame, and then No Way Home, and those were all so good that anything coming after it was just not going to be able to shine as brightly. Like, it was just, it, in comparison, you were just kind of going to be like, wow, this is just a normal movie or a normal TV show. If he's the Sith Lord, who's the apprentice? That's a good question. I don't even know who who even is associated with Joe Biden. I don't even know. <laughs> the United States will be formed as the first galactic empire. <laughs> I think I told this story, but I was in when I was in Boy State, everybody which is that it's a mock government thing that boys can do when they're in high school. Um, and uh, at, at the very end at the very like you get voted into the Senate. I got me and like everybody in my group was voted into the Senate because we all voted for each other and nobody else was smart enough to do that. So we were all in the Senate. Um, and then and then somebody put forward a a bill to a, remove demo, remove democracy and replace it with a galactic empire. And then and then there's the final day where like all the stuff gets approved by whoever's vote whoever the person that's president is. And all your parents come in, they sit down, and the person they go through all this stuff that you went through to see all the cool, all the cool government stuff you made, you decided on, and that was one of the bills. <laughs> this is how democracy dies with thundering applause. If you've seen that video, I've talked about it, and I say I said that line, and it's it's honestly the one probably one of the most cringy things I've done in my life, but I don't regret it. <laughs> uh, don't call me that. I'm not. Rev if Basil joined Malik, then she'll suffer the same fate he does. Don't call me that. I why are these the two choices? I don't like either of these. I'm glad to hear you say that. Now that you know your true identity, I was afraid you might slip back over to the dark side. If Bastila feels as you do, there may yet be hope for her. Well, if Bastila on the Star <laughs> I have seen it, you like reacted to it. I saw... Well, oh, that's true. I forgot. I reacted on... <laughs> that's true. The I saw we the video. Oh, my God. God. It feels so, so bad. Better. It's so awful. The wreckage of a downed ship along the way. And if we're lucky, we can salvage some stabilizers from it to get off this planet. I hope everything works out as soon as I like how all the companions just have the so dumbest headgear. So they all look like they all look like people ready to go to a rave in the 80s. This is just what is what people in the 80s thought was cool, but for some reason this game came out in 2003 and the people making it didn't realize it wasn't cool anymore. That's what happened. Uh, I've already upgraded everything, so I guess I don't really need to go to the bench. Let's bring Jahani and let's bring I could bring Karth. I could bring Jolie Bindo. You know what? Let's bring Karth. I you know I don't think I've ever brought Karth to this, so it might be interesting to see how he reacts when we meet ba uh, Bastila. My tooth it hurts. Oh my god! Are you getting like wisdom tooth or something coming in? I when I <laughs> when I had it was my I never I don't have wisdom teeth, but when I went to uh, what is it? Uh, when I had the tw uh, twelve-year molars or whatever, when those came in, I was at I was at a Boy Scout camp for like four or five days, and uh, and it was horrible. It was torture. <laughs> my teeth were my teeth were coming in. I was in severe pain. I went to the nurse and I was like, "Do you have anything I can take?" And she's like, "Nah, we don't have any ibuprofen or nothing. We don't have any medications here." I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean you have no medicine here? What's the what is the point of you? Why are you why do you exist if you have nothing? <laughs> so yeah, so I was just in horrible pain that entire the entire time. And I couldn't eat anything because it really hurt. I got a belly button infection while a Boy Scout? Oh my god, what the fuck? What happened? Oh my god. I forgot these dudes were on the planet. <laughs> I totally forgot they were here. You have more than just a cavity if it hurts.
Oh, like if your tooth if your tooth hurts? Yeah. I guess so. Well, you'd have a cavity that that got down to the root, right? So that would be root. That probably that'd be um uh, what are they called? The tooth pain. <laughs> you know what I mean? Are my wisdom tooth still? I was told they'd come in when I was 16. I'm 30 now, and they still haven't. Wait, so you have your wisdom teeth under? They they just haven't come up? That sounds like something that probably needs to be removed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if they don't come up, that's like a major problem. <laughs> what the fuck is up with those dentists? They're like, ah, that's fine. They're just stuck down there destroying your mouth. No, don't worry about it. If you've defeated the murderous animals, we thank you, humans, for saving us. No problem, random people. If I'd known you were there, I would have waited a couple minutes. Uh, no problem. If your arrival had not been so fortuitous times, we would have been in great danger. We thank you again for saving us. Who the fuck are you? What are you doing here? We crashed here when a mining survey vessel encountered some strange sort of energy field and disrupted our engine and power system force to make a crash landing. So wait, are you telling me these guys work for some mining company and they have a mining survey vessel that's probably very expensive. They crash land. Actually, you know what? It's probably pretty recent, right? I was about to say, how come how come the company hasn't like investigated? You know, if you have like a very like if you have like a, a cargo ship and it disappears, usually somebody goes and investigates like what happened. <laughs> you know what I mean? At least for insurance reasons. But I guess it was probably if they're still alive, it was probably very recently, right? They'll bring them into canon if but only if they can wait, the Ricotta. They'll bring them into canon, but only if they can ruin them in some way. <laughs> I don't know. Most people with wisdom teeth never need them removed. It's just an easy way for dentists to make money. Uh, I'm very lucky that I didn't have wisdom teeth because I actually had I actually had to have a normal tooth removed because my mouth already I, I had a normal tooth removed. I'm missing I don't have my wisdom teeth, and I believe I was also born missing like an extra other tooth, and none of it fit in my mouth, so I had to have a tooth removed. So I would have been fucked. <laughs> I would do, I, I'm just, I'm glad that didn't happen. Ford again to remove my four impacted wisdom teeth walls, so they've just been there for three years. Oh, God. Gotta love, gotta love, uh, uh, health care. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, where are the rest of your companions? Many have been killed at the hands of the locals. A few tried to swim to one of the closer islands, but we've not heard from them in many days. Of the ten of us who remained here, we two are the only remaining survivors. I guess you probably... Well, actually, you know, they probably have, like, a communicator device, right? They're probably, like, a phone. They can call each other and be like, Yo, I made it to the island. But, if you know, if it's not waterproof, then they wouldn't. Why don't you try to get to one of the other islands? I believe that'd be the best choice. The others have not returned, but maybe because they could find no way to. Be worth the risk rather than stay here. One last time, Miss, we shall remember you. Wait, no, don't go. I'm here. I could. You're fine now. Where are you going? All right. Well, I just murdered those people <laughs> unintentionally. Uh, see you later, guys. Have fun. Trying to swim to an island that probably also has murderous lunatic natives. College is a scam. Healthcare is non-existent. How are we supposed to live in this savage land called America? America! Home of... Everybody's in debt. And they're gonna die because... They can't afford food. America! What a great, what a great place. Great, great place to, to um, unearth. The Dashad were brought back into canon. I feel like they are ruined because they're supposed to be powerful force users, but they are bodyguards for some criminal empire in the book they were. Wait, what did? Wait, what book were they brought into? Are they? I thought they were. I thought they, powerful force. I thought they just like. Uh, well, I guess no. I guess that is powerful force. Is I'm trying to remember when I stopped reading, like, the new Star Wars books. I read the Ahsoka one that came out a while ago, and I read the one where there's that kid, and he's, like, a fighter pilot, and and, and everybody's, everybody's like, yeah, let's go, kid, you know what I mean? I read that one. 
It was supposed to, like, reveal the secrets of the Sith, but then it clearly didn't. <laughs> One of the books in the new Thrawn trilogies. Ugh. Man, I love it. I love it when they just take a thing. I love it when they take a thing from canon and just, like, bring it in name only. That's my favorite. What's that? You remember the Deshad, right? What if we just had them be nothing like any anything that they were? That's cool. You'll like you'll appreciate that. Well, you like you like Dash Rendar, right? What about this what about this guy who's Dash Rend uh, not Yeah, what about this guy? No, not Dash Rendar. Well uh fuck, what's his name? You like, um, that guy with the bandages, <laughs> whose name starts with a D, <laughs> but I can't remember it for some reason? Yeah, what if we brought him in, but he looked nothing like himself and also was now an alien? <laughs> Kalkatarn? No, they haven't brought Kalkatarn. Probably for the best, because they'd also ruin him. Dengar, yeah. <laughs> you like Dengar, right? What if we brought him in and he looked like a weird egg <laughs> instead of a, instead of just a guy with bandages on? Song of, I, wait. Song of Ice and Fire books have also have Lady Stoneheart. The show completely forgets about her. Oh my god, I don't even know who that is. Season 1 through 4 of the show. Oh, I guess I can't. I'm not, maybe I should. Let me extend out this chat here so I can see more of what people are saying. There we go. Season 1 through 4 of the show are pretty good, but everything passed. From what I understand, I believe that was. I believe after 4, I think. Um, George R. 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 Martin said this, but after 4, they stopped consulting him. They just stopped asking him about stuff. So that's probably why it sucks. <laughs> They're just like, yeah, we got this. Stay your weapons, interloper. We're not here for battle or blood. Why do you guys have... Why do you guys have rancors? We bring you an in invitation from the one great champion of Rakata. What are you talking about? Wait a minute. You understood those creatures? Of course. You and Malak must have been here before. You, you probably learned their language back when you were Revan. Yeah, I guess so. You have used strange magics and weapons slaughter our raiding parties into Looper. You have bathed in the blood of these fierce Rakatan warriors. Wait, you guys also use the force. What do you mean strange magics, you fucking idiot? Your power and skills impress the one he wishes to audience with you a great honor. Who is the one? The one is the leader of our tribe, the great champion of the Rakata. He's feasted on the flesh of many foes. Oh, great. All right, great, sure. Yeah, I'll go meet this fucking cannibal lunatic. I thought I read an article where I saw R.R. R. Martin defending the last season of Game of Thrones. Well, then we've been reading very different articles. <laughs> and you, well, you know what? It might have been right when it was... It might have been before it was finished, actually. It was probably like, ah, oh, it's fine. And then it finished and everybody hated it. He's like, actually, no, it's not fine. <laughs> Ribbon, somehow I knew we would meet again. Even when you vanished, I knew you would forget him. Okay, and wait, what? My scouts told me of a great warrior from the sky slaughtering our raiding parties. With mysterious powers and magics, I knew you had at last returned. Okay. If I don't want to hit skip because I'm gonna I'm gonna click skip. I just, oh, never mind. I have no clue what you're talking about. I'm not Revan anymore, that part of me is gone. I'm Brienne now. Your words are confusing. I recognize that you're the one called Revan. You're the one who came here before. You and Malak, the one who served you. You promised to slay our enemy in exchange for our aid. You swore to the elders and bring us their secrets. Are you saying this means nothing to you now? My mind was destroyed, my memories were lost. I believe you, Revan. I sense there is something different about you, something that has changed. You are not the same as you were before. Yet the power of magic, what you call the Force, is within you still. You can still destroy the Elders and fulfill your vow. What was this vow exactly? You vowed to kill the Elders and bring us the secret knowledge they protect. In exchange, we promise to use the lost knowledge to help you enter the Temple of the Ancients. I think I've done their quest before, but I don't remember. I don't remember what I, I, I don't know. I guess this is probably the right thing to do. We thought you'd forgotten us or been killed by the elders. Now that you've returned, our line still holds. Destroy the elders and we will help you. Oops. Okay, well, I guess I said the right thing. <laughs> I'll help you understroy, understand, then we'll destroy the elders. Okay. I'm gonna need some information. 
So in the beginning, you arrived with Malak, your servant. Three of your galactic standard years ago, my scouts saw you, your sky ship plummet to the earth. They tried to take you prisoner, but you unleashed your magic, which you call the Force, and you don't need to say that over and over. Seeing your power, they bowed before you and brought you here to me. Okay. <laughs> they didn't bow about this time. What the fuck? Tell them to jump in a kit and get to, in a pit and get to ground fast. So they're like, I don't think you do that with these guys. Last I heard, he was completely rewriting wins. Honestly, I had a theory. I, he said something a little... After he said that they stopped consulting him, my theory on this was kind of thro thrown in disarray, but my original theory was that the... The show basically ends where George R. R. Martin was trying to get it to end. <laughs> but because it was rushed, it just doesn't make sense. Like, it, you know, because things that would have happened were cut out, right? And since everybody hates it, he was just like, oh, yeah, no, that's not what I was going to do at all. I was, you know what I mean? I was just going to, I was just going to do something else. How many push-ups did you do today? I didn't do any push-ups, but I did, I did lift a, lift a few weights a, f a few times. <laughs> Was the purple man from Marvel's Jessica Jones really a dark Jedi using force persuade? It was it was revving the whole time. Uh, you said you say my ship crashed. It was was it because of the disruptor field? I don't know if they have a disruptor field, but throughout history of our tribe ships have fallen from the sky has always been this way, though in recent generations become more frequent. We have little understanding of such magic to make metal fly. Oh my god, why do these guys suck so much? This was how we acquired our Rancor War Beasts. Several very young specimens were recovered from a crashed vessel. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I gotta say, I was like, where the fuck you get these things? Uh, I need parts to repair my ship. That I cannot help you, although we have recovered many strange supplies from Sky. Their use is a mystery to us. As a, as a show, we will allow to search the stores. Okay. Tell me about tell me about these elders. They guard the ancient secrets within their compound is the knowledge of power and magic including the knowledge of how to enter the temple itself. We've lost many uh, warriors storming the gates. Sometimes we can catch an elder when they venture forth and we have learned something about them. That is how we know they guard the ancient secrets. Okay. The power of hindsight is a, is a powerful thing, that's true. There's no way this story's gonna end with a happy ending and a tight bow nearly wrapping everything up. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the, sh the, 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 the show didn't end that way. It wasn't really a... I guess it was kind of a tight bow, but it was, certainly wasn't a happy ending. Also, when you're a writer, like, the things you plan to do in the future, usually, usually you end up changing it. Especially if you're a writer like George R. R. Martin, where, like, you're constantly shifting things because you're just writing based on what you think the characters would do next. And oftentimes that doesn't end up being what you were trying to have them do. You know what I mean? So, it's very likely that was his plan, and but it, it wouldn't have happened. I think George R. R. Martin was planning for the ending like we got in the show, but because everyone hated it, yeah, I, I, it's definitely a possibility. I mean, even though they didn't consult him, they still could have been like, he still could have been like, yo, here's, I mean, that, that could have been something that he was try, like originally planning from the beginning, you know? Like, this is how it's going to end, so they when they started the show, they knew that. Bane Cell seemed pretty happy when Daenerys got killed in an uncharacteristically cowardly way. Did they? I guess they would be, right? Uh, tell me about the Temple of the Ancients. There is little I can tell you about the temple. I know the secret. Okay, fuck it. When you last are here, you and Malak sought to enter the temple. But only the elders know how to bypass the barrier that surrounds you. Destroy them. I don't have, see any other choice, so I will help you. Elders are few in numbers. You can get past the exterior defenses. You could sla surely slaughter them all. My, I'm guessing the fact that Revan and Malak didn't kill the elders means that's the evil choice, right? <laughs> right? Unless that was their one good conscience decision is not to kill those people. <laughs> If I kill the elders, how can I bring you their secrets? 
There's one prisoner and elder whose mind broke beneath our tortures. He raved ancient rituals. Okay. Sir, this ancient tome was... Okay. I'll be back when I get that book. Bring it to me! And then I can use it to betray you, possibly. I don't know. Wait, if I open this... Hold on. Hold on, guys. I just want to see what happens. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess I should have seen that coming. What the fuck? Elder Warrior. This must be the guy he said his mind broke. I probably would be able to talk to him if I betrayed these guys, but whatever. He probably has nothing good to say. Martin playing something different than everyone started dying or something. <laughs> yeah. How often do you shave? I shave of every other-ish day, I guess. It depends on just when I need to shave. Usually I'll shave before stream or if I'm gonna go go somewhere and it's getting kind of long, I'll shave. Um, I kind of like the stubbly look, but it doesn't. It usually doesn't look very good on camera. It looks kind of weird, especially uh, with the camera like mine that sucks. I tried daily once, but I couldn't handle it. I know what you mean. It's it's annoying. You think you could wrestle a raincore? I mean, in this game, probably. I I could probably as as this fictional character, totally. Uh, but in real life, absolutely not. Oh my god, they got a fucking cantina here? What the hell? Bro, where's the... Wait, how do you even get in there? You have, you have to climb over the freaking counter to get in there? Alright. Oh, there's a basket. Oh, I can't access it. I haven't examined two days and don't remember anything? Oh my god, that's... That's me every with every exam. How the fuck do I live this place? Get me out of this hellhole. Watch once they didn't ask about your facial hair. Oh no. What is your favorite map? Answer that any way you want. My favorite map. I mean, you know, Middle Earth is a classic good looking map, right? It's actually, um, I didn't know this. I was reading about this, but J.R. Tolkien's son, Christopher Tolkien, is the one who made the maps. Because originally, Originally, like, in all the stories, he also re-edited The Lord of the Rings, so that way things would be more consistent, like, geography-wise. Apparently, Tolkien was very inconsistent when it came to that kind of stuff. Uh, and Christopher Tolkien would get really upset about it. <laughs> As a matter of fact, actually, I think he's ta Christopher Tolkien's talked about how a big part of the reason why J.R. Tolkien started writing stuff down, writing it as stories, it was because he would be like, he'd be like, and then they saw aspen trees, and and Christopher Tolkien would be like, oh, last time you said, last time you said they were maple trees, and he's like, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> so he started writing it down so that way he could, <laughs> all those tiny details he could get correct. I think that's hilarious. If you grow out your beard, you can look like the legendary Mike Beltran. I have no idea who that is. Is that good or bad? What gear slash clothes are better, KOTOR 1 or 2? Obviously KOTOR 2. In every possible way. <laughs> in stats-wise and looks-wise. They're just so much better. Uh, okay. Oh, I should probably upgrade Karth, right? Oh my god, this guy's missing an arm! Bro, what happened? What happened to your arm? I generally enjoy fantasy and sci-fi readings, but I really hate it when the characters start singing and the lyrics are posted in the text. Just say they're singing, leave the lyrics to showmakers. I think um, if you if you listen to The Lord of the Rings, it's actually pretty good because usually they'll bring in somebody who's like a lot of those voice actors are trained to sing well. So it's like all that singing when you actually have somebody when you actually have somebody doing it and you're listening to it, you're like, oh shit, this is this is like pretty. This is a pretty good song. Like I actually enjoy this to be honest. But when you read that shit, it's like, nah, man, fuck, <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> I just looked up Mike Beltran. It is not a good thing. Oh, no. Wait, what? What? How come my map is not filled out here? Wasn't it just the ocean? It's just the ocean. War leader? Oh, does this guy have a name? Garn? Garn, what the fuck you doing, man? What's up? You are the great warrior, now it seems. You came before and defeated us, and now do so again. What do you want, Garn? 
If you are as great as you appear to be, then perhaps you can help us as well. There have been many attacks on the island recently by blue and red armored warriors against Star Scouts. Okay, Mandalorians. Uh, Mandal Mandalorians? If that is your name for them, then yes. I was given the task of rooting out their forces, but as you can see, I failed. For both the one who gave me the uh, command of the dungeon warrior. Oh, come on, come on. If you're a great warrior, I can't do that voice anymore. It's, to it's destroying my throat. Um, surely you have powers beyond my ken, and therefore. Okay, great. I'll find those Mandalorians and kill them. Uh, okay, great. And? There have been many wrecks. Uh, many of them. I, okay. Why do you need his head? To gain his strength and knowledge. Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you, you do that, bro. <laughs> you, you, you do whatever you feel is right. Tolkien really loved his mid-tech songs, though. Martin does, too, though not as much. So does, um, not not nearly as much, but so does uh, Robert Jordan. There's a lot of songs in there as well. I don't think they're as good as Tolkien's, though. Like, at least Tolkien's songs are pretty bopping. What's over there? Oh, nothing. Okay. I never got to see Aragorn sing Baron and Luthien. You mean like Vigo Mortensen? I wonder, I've only listened to, actually, I don't know, is it on the shelf? Uh, oh, it's not on the shelf. I have two towers. I have the two towers on cassette, which was my dad's back when, back when, you know, he was listening to that stuff. I think back when he was in college. Um, and I, I listened to it. I had, my first truck had a cassette player. So, uh, so I was like, yeah, this is perfect. So I listened to a good amount. I know I've read, I don't know how much of the Lord of the Rings I've actually read, to be honest. I've read The Hobbit, but it has been a very long time. I've read The Fellowship of the Ring, and I think I've tried to read The Two Towers multiple times. I don't know if I ever got to The Return of the King. I can't remember. But those books are... They're a slog, man. <laughs> They're such a slog. <laughs> it's like, it's just so much of like, and then there was a tree, and then the elves were like, full on on, dee 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 dee. And you're like, fuck, bro, I don't, this is, this, what is this shit? <laughs> oh, oh my god, that guy killed me immediately? Oh, fuck. How about the entire Lord of the Rings that a single book enjoyed it well enough besides the songs read it in a month? I don't, things, I just can't read in general anymore. But I probably, I'll probably at some point, I'd like to go and listen to audio, an audiobook. I bet there's like a really good audiobook of them nowadays. Get Rancord, son. I know, that Rancord what fucking destroyed me. Jesus. What? Wait, what am I wearing? I'm, I think I'm wearing Keldroma's robe, right? Yeah, I am. Oh my god. All my stuff is like OP, so I guess it's not really a big deal. He doesn't need strength gauntlets. He needs... Yeah, sure. That that reflection stuff isn't helpful for him, but it's better than nothing. Do I have better pistols? I don't think I do. That's the best one, and it's worse, right? For... Oh, maybe it's slightly better, actually. No, it's slightly worse. Okay. What is it? I love how the guns in this game suck. <laughs> They're all terrible. The books are much more detailed than the movies, and even the movies were pretty detailed. There's just, there's just, there's so much like, there's so much just, just nothing going on a lot of the time. Like, oh my god, man. <laughs> like I get it. I get there's bark on the tree, dude. I, I understand. I kind of figured. I can only use audiobooks if the speed is 1.5 times faster. Actually, you know what? That might be a good idea. They are, usually they are read pretty slowly, aren't they? I saw someone complain that the books have too much detail, like about what the hobbits are eating. 
That's the thing is... For... For... J.R. Tolkien, it was a lot more about the world building. Like, that's what he was really interested in, is the war. And the story was almost... The story was almost... I, it's almost secondary, to be honest. I mean, that's why... That's why the... The Hobbit is, is that is the way it is. It's because like the story, like the adventure wasn't really what it was about. It was just about it was just about experiencing Middle Earth. How'd you like that? <laughs> like George R. R. Martin does a massive detail about the food in his books. Like I swear, he was starving every time he was writing. Maybe he was. Maybe he was just like, "Fuck, bro, I really." He's got the Food Channel on in the background. He's just like, and then they put, and then they put the they put the lasagna in the oven, and, and the, there was then then they took the lasagna out of the oven. <laughs> I've never actually read Game of Thrones. I don't know if you could tell. Uh, these brain cores are just wrecking me. I think it's interesting they talk about the hobbits are eating because I find it weird when in a book or a movie nobody's ever eats anything. I know why they do it because it's to make everything super... Yeah, like, th that kind of stuff, it usually does... Like most of the time, when somebody's writing a book, they're the the point is the story and and like where they're going or whatever. They don't think about you know what what would what would they do in between? What's their downtime? Which you know, I mean that's fine too. But it just it kind of gives you it gives you a glimpse into what the author thinks matters. What like what 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 they really care about in their universe. Would you rather wear a shirt made out of bricks for the rest of your life, or what the fuck, or live in a house made out of shirts for the rest of your life? I mean, I guess I'd rather live in a house made out of shirts. That sounds less uncomfortable. Oh my god, some Mandalorians! What? Why the fuck? Oh my god! Oh, wait, what? Wait, did you guys see that? Did is it just me or did it look like he just exploded off the screen? Who's... Okay, Jahani can't move. I guess I'll help Jahani. I might as well use Force Lightning, because I can't move also. What is it? Why is... Why is nothing happening? Nah. Use a few of those, man. Journal entry added. All right, that's the guy's head that he wanted, so we should probably collect that. Would you rather join a bird watching club or watch a bird beat a man with a club? Bro, are you kidding me? I'd much rather watch a bird beat a man with a club. That sounds very interesting. <laughs> that sounds. That sounds. I, that, that's not something you're gonna miss. Like if that popped up on my YouTube feed, I would fucking click on that. You better believe it. I guess it would be disturbing watching him die, but you know, you gotta know what's happening. You gotta know what the hell. How is this bird? How is this bird destroying this man? He's ignoring us. Wig. Oh shit. Oh shit. Did somebody order? Oh crap. I didn't see that. All right. Let's make this a wig party. Uh, oh, oh. Let's collect all their belongings. Mandalorian power shield. Wait, was I wasn't I supposed to do something with this big stone? I thought I was supposed to like electrocute it or something. Maybe I already did something with the stone. I don't remember to be honest. <laughs> what the fuck, she, bro? I think these questions are getting a little too extreme, man. So many goddamn Gizka everywhere. I've already been over here, right? There's nothing over here. What happens if I go up to... What happens if I go up to the door? Oh, I should heal real quick. Ready. Karth needs to heal as well. 
What is it? What? Live in Oblivion or Game of Thrones? Oblivion easily. Game of Thrones would suck. Because Game of Thrones, you're guaranteed to die. You know what I mean? Like, it's 100%. Well, I guess it's 100% anyway, because you'll you'll die. You're guaranteed to die before you die of old age. <laughs> you know? That's a guarantee. All right, I guess I'm not... I'm in the wrong area right now, I guess. Would you rather live a ha happy life, but you're constantly being forced shot in the knee, or live a depressing life, but you're not being forced shot... I mean, I'd rather be happy. This sounds way better. I mean, if, if I'm getting four shocked in the knee, but I'm happy, I, you know, maybe I enjoy it. Maybe that's why I'm happy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you never know. Would you rather go clubbing until you die or play 18 holes of golf with the wrong clubs? Bro, if I went if I went to go play golf right now, there's a 100% guarantee I would have I would be using the wrong clubs. Cause I don't know anything about golf, so I guess that's just that's just me playing golf normally. Worst zombie creature, drow drowners or white walkers? I mean, they're basically the same thing, aren't they? They're basically the same. Except for maybe white walkers are Jesus, more smarter. Uh, here's the leader's head. Thank you for your done. The souls of my warriors can rest in peace. And with his head, I gain his strength. Bro, where are you going? Bro, he just fucked off. Oh, he got a chest for me. I found these while searching among the wreckage. I don't know what they do, but I hid them here. Alright, thanks, man. <laughs> Alright. Walkers only died to obsidian? It's, I, you know, it's not, it's not that hard to get obsidian. It'd be fine. Verpine Zal Aoi Mesh. Oh my god. That's the only good thing in this. Thermal shield gender? That doesn't sound that good. Immunity to fire. Okay, great. When is there gonna be when is fire gonna be a problem? I guess I'll equip it. Cause I don't I don't know. Maybe it will be an issue. Maybe I'll will maybe I'll need that. Let's give him the... Oh, Mandalorian Assault Armor. Which one of these is upgradable? It says no dex bonus. Neither of them. Great. Alright, super. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate the garbage you just gave me. If I were a Lord of the Rings character, I'd be Gollum because he's ugly. <laughs> what? Oh no, man, that's sad. Uh, undead Opa, prob almost definitely, I'd say. <laughs> Would you be Smeagol? <laughs> Gollum, but like, with no skills. <laughs> Smeagol's just Gollum, but with zero skills. <laughs> that's what Smeagol is. Would you rather live forever as a rotting corpse or live for a month as the most attractive? Well, obviously, the I'd rather live for a month as the most attractive human. Wait, does that mean I die after the month? I, mean, I guess that's fine. You got the hair? That's right. I got the hair. Um. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, I'm, I'm just confused. Wants to go to their compound near the temple. Where is their compound near the temple? You die after a month? Yeah, whatever, that's fine. another damn ricotta prime yeah <laughs> uh yo has anybody seen a anybody seen a compound oh wait maybe it's over here 
Oh yeah, there we go. Ah, fuck. Oh my god, I'm a moron. I mean, we know, but you know, <laughs> just, just, just clarifying. I'm here. I'm here. I just had a long meeting. We're training somebody. Oh my god. Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully the training is helpful for them. I <laughs> usually when I receive training and then they put me on the job and it's like none of this, none of this was in the training. <laughs> what, do you, what the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, a Giska blew up! Bro! I'm guessing because there's explosives, plasma vent. Oh, okay, great. Uh, I don't think any of us have the capabilities. Let me just run over these. Ship parts. We got the parts, guys! We got them! We found the, we found the parts to repair the ship. If I was a Lord of the Rings character, I'd be a hobbit because of big feet. And you know what they say about big feet? Big feet, big toe jam. What do you think about the new Gollum game? I love Lord of the Rings, but like a Gollum game does not see... I, I don't... Yeah, I don't know. I just don't really know why Gollum. <laughs> it's, it's an interesting choice. Uh, I'll probably play it. I'll, prob <laughs> I'll probably play it on stream if I... I'm able to get it and it comes out at the right time. But I don't I don't know why Gollum. <laughs> this is you know, they made a decision with that one. Ready. Cut. How'd you like that? Oh, Too wish. bright, Owen. I'm when the explosion happened, I bet. How may I be of assistance? I was wondering if we could talk. What is it? Nothing. <laughs> when do we get to make out? What the fuck. <laughs> when do we get to kiss? Have I collected all the stuff here? All these, all these plasma vents and nothing good, huh? Nothing good to collect. Yep. All right, great. I feel like I should heal us. Where the fuck is Garth? Garth! Oh, that, what the hell? Where were you? Would you rather live forever but have no sense of taste or smell or live for only a year but you will be eating only the tastiest food in existence? Live forever. I don't know. Both of those suck. Both of those are... Both of those... I guess that's the point. They're both bad choices, right? I guess I'd rather live for a year but eat the tastiest food. Because living forever, it's like, what's the point, man? What do you do? I guess I could continue playing video games, but like, yeah, you'd get so bored of life. I hear it. Wait, what? I'm at full health? I don't remember getting the full health. Did I, did I waste med packs? Probably. There you go, see big old Rancor? It's a good thing this Rancor isn't nearly as big as the one at the beginning of the game. <laughs> do you think what that's what it was? Is they're like, what do we do what do we do for like wild creatures on this planet? We just, we can we don't have the time to make a new model. Just make them a bunch of Rancors, I don't know. Honestly, it'd make more sense if it was a bunch of Torrenta tech. I think that would be more I mean the Torrent attack is basically just a <laughs> weirder looking rancor, but still. Yeah, why is the Gizka not being murdered? Yo, Gizka, what the fuck? This would be the perfect time to have that immunity to electricity belt. Oh my god! <laughs> I seek the Star Forge. You are Revan. The Council wishes to speak with you. Okay. All right. Great. Ready? Yeah, I'm here. It's fine with me. Would you rather get a girlfriend, but you have to sell your family? Wait, what do you mean sell my family? Like, to who? 
Yeah, well, that's a win-win, right? Because you get a girlfriend and you get tons of money. I mean, this is perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> we know which Jamie Lannister would pick. <laughs> Wait, would would he not be able to pick either? Because it because it'd be uh, they cancel each other out. Are you guys talking about J.K. Rowling? She fucking sucks. <laughs> what a horrible person. The one, the one wants ancient secrets. I spoke to you once before. What did I want? If this is some type of test, Revan, some type of trick, you came seeking our aid. You came in search of a way to enter the temple of the ancients. You came to be sleep. You claimed to be seeking a way to destroy the Starforge, and we were fool enough to believe you. Unaware of your foolish nature, un unaware of your true nature, we helped you enter the temple. Wait. Instead of destroying the terrible, destroying the terrible legacy of our ancestors, you unleash the evil. Okay, so these are the good guys. Why did Revan not kill them? I guess because that was just a waste of his time, right? Don't listen to the bug stocks, man. I have no memory of our last meeting. You think we are fools, Revan? You think we have forgotten how you lied to us last time? We should help. My mind was destroyed. They say that the experiences of our past define us and make us what we are. If it is true you've lost your memories, then perhaps you are changed. But how are we to know this is not some trick? If you had to become J.K. Rowling for a day, would you fix her reputation or screw her life over? Well, no, because if I fix her reputation, she's just going to become J... It'll be, she'll be back to J.K. Rowling, and then she can be even worse, and people will be okay with it. So yeah, screw her life over. <laughs> I, would, I would do what they do in The Dark Knight Rises, where I just sell all of her stocks. I'll sell all of her stocks to, to like, terrible, terrible failing companies. That's what I'll do. I think these people are more evil overall. Hmm. How do I, how do I, hmm. How do I get that out of them if they are evil? I'm a servant of the light. You say you are not who you once were, yet here on our world you repeat the pattern of your last video. Like the last time, crash your light last time you come seeking our help. The one wanted me to kill you, but I've come peacefully. Again, you were only... Oh, yeah, fuck shit. I only ask you judge me by my actions. You sense... We sense that you mean the words you speak, okay? Miss Proust, you're not the same as you once were. Revenue has proved you've changed. How can I prove that? Recently, se several of our scouts were captured by the one. Most of them were brutally slaughtered. And the information that one of the scouts they will use unimaginable torches to force the scout to reveal everything we know about our tribe. And once the one is done with him, the scout will be executed like the others. Let's prove that you are truly changed by risking your life to save another. Maybe I can negotiate with the one to release your hostage. Alright, let's go do that. What else is in this area? <laughs> what the fuck? So normal food or can't? Obviously normal food. I'm not Army Hammer. Jeez. Elder researcher. Cage? What the fuck? Bro, you been keeping dudes in here, you sons of bitches? You f goddamn pricks. You've returned to last. Let's begin to wonder. Okay. You know me. We met previously when you last entered the Enclave many years ago. 
You came here and gained access to the temple and you were never heard from again. Some thought you betrayed us to others, but they were never able to penetrate our defenses. If you will help us now, then the time taken is nothing. What are you doing here? You mean the purpose of my research here? What is your research? As we have heard from our historians and our dispatch, we melded technology in the force to create truly wondrous effects. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know what effects you did, and it was very evil. We guided ships across the galaxy using our power and corporate use into all aspects of our society. Something happened somewhere. Uh, what happened? A variety of theories on what happened perhaps became immune to the effects of the forest from overuse. Perhaps our breeding habits are our species and sense to our non truly now. Oops, fuck. With its loss, our technologies could no longer help hold us as far above the subjugated races we ruled. Okay. Place of the world. In the end, only the members of our race left here on our homeworld survive. Okay. So, what is your research? Every, every now and again, there's an individual who can use the force, maybe not the ability to use it directly, but at least the ability to remain open to it. I believe there's a sign that whatever genes our species had that gave us the ability to use the force are not completely gone. Perhaps they're when our ancestors. Okay. We, if the elders do not have force to see ourselves, but by harnessing the genetic structure, we hope to be able to breed the gene back in our species. You're capturing prisoners for their genes. You make us seem like monsters. You captured them, yes, but only because the tribes have become extremely xenophobic in their millennia trapped on this world. They would not aid us willingly and killed our messengers when we asked. Yeah, man, I wonder why they were upset at you asking to do research experiments on their body. Yo, can we cut up your organs and take out your genes? Does that sound good? Is that fine? It's not, it's not a big deal. Heritage, you mean the temple. Yes, the temple can only be entered by those sensitive to the force, so it becomes barred to us for ages. What we may find may inside may allow us to lift the other tribes out of their barbarism. You're trying to restore your empire, aren't you? No, we don't want to fall down the path so twisted of our people before. This time, perhaps, we can redeem ourselves in the eyes of the galaxy and become a force of good. How close are you to finishing research? Uh, we have been restricted in our movements. We've captured a few of their warriors, but the one that really interests is the leader of the one. What's special about it? Uh, Mark with a destiny? Okay. And hearing the stories his warriors tell of the one we believe that he may have... Okay. Fortunately, and his people... Okay. Alright, what kind of information do you need? Must have known each much, much more than us. They had much greater population. The temple is ancient and is guarded by advanced technology. Recently, we've seen ships coming and going from a similar design to ones that came about at the same time you did many years ago. Alright, that's a little suspicious. That sound that certainly sounds you know a little evil perhaps would you rather have one night stand with an ugly but wealthy orc or be married to a beautiful but racist elf for the rest of your life I don't want to be some race married to some racist elf also you know ugly is a matter of perspective I guess it it probably be my perspective right I don't know that sounds fine. <laughs> we don't have to read the subtitles. We're all fluent in his language. You're all fluent in blah 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 blah. Mm. Oh shit! What's over here? Elder droid. Blah 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 blah. It's interesting that the droids also speak the same bleep bloop language. Keeper Orso, what the fuck you up to, Orso? Ready once again, Revan. I'm glad you've returned. Who are you? My name is Orsa. I'm the keeper of history of the elders. Last time we were here, you had many questions. The council told us all of the description of your memories, but they did. It just literally just happened. Nice haircut, thanks. But still, I had hoped you might recall something of our past discussion. 
I wish I could remember, but I don't. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. It just pains me to know that you all... All you had learned from me has been forgotten. I do have questions for you. Yeah, well, I'll do my best to enlighten you. Tell me about the tribe of elders. We elders are descendants of the holy priest caste of the infinite empire, survivors of the terrible weapons unleashed by the warlords during the final collapse of our empire. Inside the temple of the ancients, our ancestors were safe from the devastation that forced the other Rakata to flee underground. Emerged from the temple to find an empty and ruined land. So there's Rakata under the under the earth. What? Last we understood the terrible power of our own technology to ensure we could never be unleashed upon us again. See the ancient knowledge within the temple. Do you know how to disable the disruptor field? It's one of the ancient defenses of the Starforge Great generate when the temple of the ancients feels it. You will have to enter the temple to disable it. Um, what do you know about the other Rakata tribes? Many centuries ago, the other Rakata began to emerge from the underground worms, where they were had sought shelter from the dispute. Okay. These Rakata were as violent as the warlords that had fled many years ago. After centuries of battle and bloodshed, the tribe of the One has emerged. Okay. Now the One, lured by half-remembered legends, people lust for power, lust to possess the terrible power. All right. Have you tried to reason with the one? We sent emissaries under a flag of truce to try and negotiate, but all are in brutal slaughter. We have the technology to destroy the one and his followers, but if we kill them all, then we will only prove that we have learned nothing. The one is mad with power? Ugh. Okay, tell about Starforge. Much to the knowledge Starforge is lost to a build during the height. Okay. We have longed to destroy the Starforge. When you and Malachan and Mary, we saw you as saviors. But in dormant evil, your fleet helped spread the corruption of the Starforge throughout the galaxy, and now you return. I have to go. Yeah, what's in this room? A computer? Up in my can. What's up? Don't mind me. I'm just eating a sandwich. I'm rather tasty. Bro, get the fuck out! I'm trying to use a computer. Non Rakata access to objects is restricted. Rakata are approved servants. I do serve the Rakata house when I learn the language. Success! Logical! Alright, sure. <laughs> it's like a. That's like a capture check. <laughs> Tell me which which of these are which of these are <laughs> buses. Nice job. <laughs> you you have access to <laughs> to secret knowledge. Uh, downloading codes. Tell me about the Starforge. No information. Starforge defected. Detected. Tell me about the Temple of the Ancients. The sacred place of ancient secrets, all dark mysteries of the Rakata are housed within stone walls. None among the Rakata still have this ability. I'm looking for the seat. How can I get in the temple? Oh yeah, okay. That's something else. Tell me about the ancient Rakata. Secrets are long. The elders sealed this information away to prevent the tunnel. Okay. This guy's useless? Tell me about the Elders. Elders are sent to a peace cast when the Infinite Empire collapsed. The Elders isolated themselves on this island. The Elders hid their secret technology of the Ancients within the Temple, fearing it would be used to bring about extinction. Tribes of their knowledge of the Ancients, the other kind of degenerated into primitive tribes. Okay. Okay, so... I mean, so far... Wait, what the fuck's over there? Oh, it's just the map is looping around. Oh, weird. Have you ever done something wrong? Did you apologize? Should you be forgiven if you do? 
or should we never forgive if we move on? I, I don't know, probably? <laughs> I don't think I've ever done anything that's like that, that serious. The worst thing I've done is I accidentally stole a Slim Jim, but then I just left it in the cart. <laughs> so I didn't act, I didn't really take it. I mean, sure, that Slim Jim went to waste because it was in a car outside. <laughs> but, you know. Are you monster? I know, I know I'm a terrible man. <laughs> I should be in prison. So, would you pass if you were the president? Was that question? Or was the first thing I would do if I would pass if I was president? Pizza, hop, pizza, pizza rolls for everybody. <laughs> Just, just like the dumbest, just the dumbest, like, um, like, student, student council or president thing you can, the, I'll replace, I'll place the water with Mountain Dew. What, why is this suddenly disabled now? I kind of want to, I want to go back to the people, oh yeah, because I want to get that dude free, right? So let's go back to, let's go back to the one. Wait, why is there- wait, there's Rancors over there They respawn? What? What the f- what the fuck? Mason's new nickname is Slim Jim. <laughs> you know the song- I think it's an Eminem song, but it's like, I'm the- If you're the real Slim Shady, please stand up. I always thought it was like- I always thought it was like a, about Slim Jims. <laughs> I always thought that's Ready? what it was about. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's it's not. I'm pretty sure it's not about Slim Jims. Now, now that I really think about it. Uh, uh, dexterity? Probably not, right? Strength. Okay. Skills. Treat injury. Powers. I don't fucking know. This, this one, I guess. Let's go, guys. What the fuck, bro? I don't, I don't care. I don't care about the friggin' thingamabob. now? Yeah, I am. Alright, we're cotton bros- brosives. Do I wanna- do I want you to free the person. What's the most important trait in a girlfriend slash partner? I feel like there's a lot of things that are important. Most most important, you know, to be honest, probably the most important thing is being able to is being able to trust that person. I guess like that they're trustworthy. I guess I don't know. That's really important. If you can't trust them, then we have seen you in trip. You serving the elders by order, bro? What the fuck, bro? Seriously? I mean, it certainly seems like the elders are right. These guys, <laughs> these guys suck. For the order. Let's go. You asked for this. It's too bad I'm max level, because this is a lot of XP. For the order. I was president. I would pass a law equal right for people with disabilities. If you have, if you have a disability, you're supposed to be able to get like a lot of really nice benefits. Um, but if, but, uh, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty sting, stringent on what counts as a disability. There's a lot of things where it's like, it's only a disability if you're, if you have it when you're a kid, 
if you're if you're a kid, even though you like ADHD, like it's only a disability if you're a kid with ADHD. Once you're an adult, even though all the problems still affect you, your life is still a mess. Oh, you're fine now. Too bad you getting doxxed now. <laughs> Like that. That Those to make everybody look like the fucking char <laughs> We have to like go to to go through surgery just to look like moist critical. Oh, I've already I've already looted all their bins. Alright, whatever. Damn, I'm late to the curbs too, but don't worry, we're still we've we've honestly barely done anything. So it's not that big of a deal. Blah, blah. What, where are you going? I guess I'll go kill these guys, right? Warmaster Gajar. Oh, I didn't talk to this guy. Oh, well, he's dead now. Sorry, Warmaster. I didn't realize you were here. I would have asked you all kinds of lore. Probably doesn't have any good lore. <laughs> these guys know literally nothing, so. Oh, I stole their stuff, though. I think understanding is important in a relationship because if you can't relate with each other during your most stressful times, you won't have a long, healthy relationship. That's true. Being able to communicate properly is really is really important. Because oftentimes you'll get into situations where it's like, the you know, you didn't something wasn't communicated, like the other person didn't understand what you were saying, and then they miss you know misconstrue it and. Cause un unnecessary issues that way. You know, if you have something like OCD or ADHD, having somebody who can understand that and think about your perspective with that frame of mind can be really helpful because, you know, there can be plenty of situations where they're like, I don't, you didn't, why didn't you do the dishes or whatever? Why didn't you do this? Like, what the fuck? It's like, I'm sorry, I just didn't remember. I just didn't remember I was supposed to do that. See, when I see the cantina eating a banana sandwich in his basement, I don't like bananas. Bananas, they, they're they too, they're too mushy, man. They're way too mushy. It's not good. Anything that's mushy, I'm not a fan of. You know, like oatmeal is also mushy. Uh, fish, fish is, a lot of fish is very mushy. Like, not only does fish have a weird taste, but it's also very mushy, which is, you know, not good. Like, get the, what the heck, man? Peas, that's mushy. Like, a lot of those vegetables, they're very mushy. I don't like any of that. You're waiting until they're too ripe to eat them? Nah, man, any- if- you know, it's all- it's- it's all- it's all too mushy. Just like my ex- what? <laughs> what the f Love of your team, goddamn. I'm- I'm saving it for when- the, when I need it. Cause a level is- a level up is an insta heal. So, you know, if you're in a tough battle, you can use that to instantly heal your dudes way better. What the fuck did he say? <laughs> Why did the subtitles disappear? Oh, okay. Yeah, how do you like that? How do you like them grapples? Why is... Jahani, why you suck? You You're not doing this. anything good. You should eat stir-fried vegetables that they maintain their crunchiness. The added flavor from the steam. I've never actually had stir-fried. Um, my college would always have it. Oh shit, fuck, I wasn't paying attention. Son of a bitch, no! Nah! 
Are you kidding me? That was the last save? Oh no, okay, okay, never mind. <laughs> I, I thought that said 25. Okay, thank fucking god. Alright, at least. I mean, I'm, st I'm way back here, but at least I'm not all the way back. Oh, I just wasn't paying attention. God damn. Yeah, I've never had stir fry because it was. I mean, it's not it's not something that's always very accessible, but it was it was a, in my college they did stir fry, but it was one of those things where it's like everybody's like, oh my god, stir fry! So I never tried it because I was like lame. You know, I'm one of those guys. It's like if it's if it's everybody's go too crazy about it, I'm like nah, not not for me. The trap of modern games makes you forget about having to save yourself, especially games like um, like Elden Ring or. Uh, you know, Neo or any of those games where it's like, if you die, it's not that big of a deal. Like, you'll lose your souls or whatever, but you didn't lose save progress. Shadow of War and Shadow of Mordor both do the same thing as well. You can expand your palette. I've actually been, been expanding my palette. The thing is, like, as an ADHD man, I'm pretty picky. But the biggest issue really is, like, texture. Like, if the texture is weird, like, you know, if it's mushy, <laughs> if it's mushy, I'm like, nah, man, I'm out. I'm, I'm out, man. What's the newest thing you've tried? Uh, that's a good question. I haven't tried a lot of new things in a while. I think I tried more new things when I was with my... Ah, oh, fuck, seriously. When I was with my ex. He's only level 18, really? Uh, I got the thing for saving throws, right? Yeah. Got the thing for implants. What else What else do I give this guy in terms of feats? Nothing. Jahani's dead? Yeah. No, she's not. What the fuck? Do you like drinks with mysterious balls in? You talking about boba? I've never had boba. So I maybe. Probably probably not to be honest. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it when there's like an uncertainty when it comes to a food. Like if there's something, like if there's an occasional crunch in a in like like carrot cake. If if there's if the cake is like properly spaced. I mean, if the carrot's properly spaced and, like, small enough that it's not, like, suddenly there's a crunch, it's good. But if there's, like, if there's an un uncertainty in when there might be a different texture, I'm out. Like, no, man. No, absolutely not. She uses... Wait. But she also... Wait, do I have... Wait, did I give her two weapons? Oh, fuck. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I did. Alright, whoops. I didn't realize, I forgot I made her a single weapon user. Hopefully they'll make us an MMO Star Wars? Man, that'd be nice if they made an MMO Star Wars. Can you imagine? What? Can you imagine? An another one? What is a stable? Do you mean staple dish? That's a good question. Well, all the staple dishes, I don't even, people don't even really eat anymore. Like corn chowder or fish chowder. Lop, lobster. Chowder is probably the biggest one. I think a lot of people like look at lobster, but like chowder is probably the biggest main thing. Chowder, <laughs> yeah. But they don't really, you can't really find it a lot anymore because most people don't eat it. Paid 900 euros on Lego. Wait, on Lego Star Wars? What the fuck? How'd you like that? Oh wait, you're talking about actual Legos? Oh yeah, that's possible. <laughs> that's very possible. 
I wish I was saving my points to make you put the wig on and someone beat me to it. <laughs> That's alright. I'm probably gonna have to take it off soon anyway. Or, I not have to, but I will. And then you can just make me wear it again. They, they are three times the price ten years ago? You mean, oh, still, they're like three times the price that they were ten years ago? Yeah, Lego, Lego sets are, like, it doesn't even feel like Lego is for children anymore. It feels like Lego is just for, like, Rich adults, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Oh no, fuck, man. No. All right, I'm taking this off. Where is it? Is it oh, it's over there. You know what I miss? Connects. Connects are pretty sweet. Everything is like, um, it's like slightly warped. Like you're looking through, it looks like, looking through the, the eyes on this thing, it's like looking through water. <laughs> That's the major issue. All right, let's do, let's do a save. Oh, fuck. Now I know how Anakin felt. Do your best Frieza voice? What? <laughs> Why Frieza? I can't even think of how- I can't even think of how Frieza talks. Huh. Oh god, there's like, it's like a piece of hair that fell on my nose. Or maybe it's in the mask. I think there's a hair in the mask and it keeps rubbing against my nose. I miss Bionicles. Dude, Bionicles are so fucking cool. Did you play the Bionicle video game? I've always wanted to do a, a video on YouTube about that thing. <laughs> It's probably, I mean, I don't, I remember it not being very good as a kid, so it's probably really, really bad. <laughs> to say monkey in a high-pitched, nasally voice, monkey. You, you monkey. <laughs> Your powers are weak, old man. Last time we fought, I was the leader. I am the master. Where the fuck am I? Bro, come help me out. I'm dying over here now. Apology accepted, Admiral. What is thy bidding, my master? <laughs> Only a master of evil, Darth. Oh wait, no, that's that's not Darth Vader's line. That's Obi Wan's line. Only a master of evil, Darth. <laughs> Can you imagine if that's how Obi Wan talked? Oh, what, what you? What's all this, then, Darth Vader? Last time I saw you, you won't be was bit of we win. So before I go fight the one, I should probably make sure I'm fully healed. Especially since now I don't have a level up option. Oh, that's gonna screw me. How'd you like that? How'd you like them apples? Time to rumble. The last, the last time we met you, I was but the learner. But then, 
<laughs> but the time before that, I dragged you through fire. So it was really two to one. But then, <laughs> but then, Doc. But then, Doc, after that, after that, I wrecked you on that rock planet. It's like, oh, fuck. That's right. And then I said, I, Danikin was dead. <laughs> or whatever. Is that the heart of the sun crystal? I think it is. I think I saw what I got when I got in this. I got both of them. The other one's in Jahani's lightsaber. Okay, let's, let's heal up real quick. Let's go! Wait, what's he say? The black ricotta shall never fall to you? The what? What the fuck? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I'll say I am the Prince Vegeta. I am Prince Vegeta, Prince of all saints. I am Prince Vegeta, <laughs> Prince of all saints. Kakarot. What's up, Elder Warrior, bro? What's up? What's up? I'm here to save you, bro. You you saved me from the savages and their war base. I was sent by the council to save you. I don't know what I could have done if he had not come. I suppose I would be dead now, like the others they captured with me. I shall attempt to return to the enclave on my own. I will tell the council what you've done. All right, cool. See you later. <laughs> what if he just dies on his way out? Like he's just bleeding out and just fucking just drops. Did that guy actually say the black ricotta? The black ricotta shall never... What the fuck is the black ricotta? What does that mean? What is he talking about? Who is the black ricotta? Oh, I didn't loot all this? Jedi Master Rogue. Alright, cool. A lot of this stuff sucks. We're cutting Battle Wand. Sith Tremor Sword. Yeah, it's all useless. Crystal Green. Wookie Warblade? What the fuck? All right, I'm taking this thing off now. <laughs> oh, God. It's not that hot out today. Uh, but it's still hot under that thing. <laughs> it's so fucking hot. I like how Cantina's Darth Vader sounds like an old-timey prospector. At long last, we have found the gold. The gold, Obi-Wan. Mason is at the gates of heaven. He's told he is a, has lived a life of purity and he is the most welcome. But wait, what's this? He stole a Slim Jim and then didn't even eat it. The last thing... Uh, that's probably true because I wasted it. <laughs> that's the worst thing. That's the worst thing I could have done. <laughs> you know what I really like? <laughs> I really... I guess I don't... I don't know if I like it. But I just think it's kind of... I think it's kind of funny. But like... <laughs> I don't know. Here I go. Here I go. Getting all political. I don't know if you've read the the um, uh, the the Bible, but there's like when um what's it? Cain and Cain and Abel, right? Like they're they're like they're they're like uh, you know they raise their they get food and then they they give it to God and God's like this 
Thank you. One of the brothers. I don't remember what. Abel's the good one, right? And Cade's the bad one. He's like, thank you, Abel, for giving me all this delicious meat from the cows. And then Cain's like, yo, bro, I, I got a bunch of vegetables. And God's like, fuck off with your shitty vegetables, Cain. You suck and fucking kill yourself. And it's like, damn, man, that's pretty rude. Like, <laughs> like I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of feel like, you know, maybe Cain was the better guy because he didn't kill, kill a bunch of animals. But all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, so that's pretty rude, God. Like, he did that for you. You know how hard it is to grow some good vegetables? Like, come on, bro, give him a break. Give him a, give, give him some slack. At least you, the least you could do is say, thanks, Kane. This isn't really what I wanted. I'm more of a meat eater, but I do appreciate your hard work. No, to fucking, to just fucking fuck off, Kane, you stupid goddamn broccoli. Nobody wants broccoli. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good scene. It's always that Tim calls for. It's his fault, man. If he just accepted the vegetables, none of this would have happened. <laughs> none of this would It all would have been fine. It's, Satan would have gone to Cain. He'd be like, yo, bro, God's being pretty mean. And he's like, nah, he actually, he said he took the vegetables. He said it was okay. He said he understands. Satan's like, oh, fuck. Shit. <laughs> no, my plans. I was going to take advantage of the fact that God doesn't like vegetables. God must have had some major gout. <laughs> That's why he's always so angry. Because <laughs> he just has really bad gout. Because he doesn't know he needs to eat more vegetables. <laughs> he's just like... He's like, man, those humans are always pissing me off. And <laughs> when the Ava Gabriel's like, bro, it's, it's just because it's just because you're not eating enough vegetables. And God's like, no, fuck off with your vegetables. It's like, no, if you ate some, your gout would go away. It's like, my gout is... There's, I don't have gout. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm God. <laughs> I'm gonna flood the entire world. Because <laughs> just the child doesn't want their veggies. You know, he had a... Whoever, his, whoever God's parent was, you know, spoiled him too much. That's the problem. Always giving him cookies and, and roast beef and never making him eat his, his peas and cauliflower. Why can't I hear a single thing? What happened to all the audio? Okay, it's still there. Wait, I should use, I should, I should, oh God, I need to run way faster than this. I'm not paying attention. I guess God hate vegetables that he hates vegetables. <laughs> Reminds me of that Star Trek episode. Are you talking about the one where they meet God? That wasn't that a movie? Or maybe you're talking about something else. <laughs> There's a movie where they meet God and God's like, it's me, God. And they're like, fuck off. Yeah, right. I think that was, wasn't that one of the ones that was written by, um... <laughs> I think that was one of the ones that was written by, uh, William Shatner. Maybe I'm wrong. Not Star Trek V, okay. <laughs> when the God's parents come to chastise him, God's like, I don't want to eat my vegetables, and his parents are like, Nah, you gotta eat your vegetables, though. Yeah, you were pretty rude to that Kane fellow. He just, he was working hard for you. And now he's, and now he's, now he's a demon. <laughs> Don't you think that's a little rude? God's like, no, just, well, it was fun. He, sh he should have known vegetables are bad. He should have known I wanted lollipops. It's from the O, from the OS. All right, I don't know that episode then. <laughs> to be fair, I haven't actually seen, I haven't actually seen Star Trek Five where they're meet guard. I've just, I've just seen like, um, I've just seen like clips. And I've seen people talk about it. Our scout has told us you've rescued him. His injuries are severe, but we believe he will survive. Right, so now you will help me. Risking your own life to save our scout seems to prove that you've changed significantly. Since the last time you were here, Revan, but you've deceived us before. Let's discuss this in great detail. Alright, see you later, guys. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat my pita pocket. We believe this action has changed, showed you truly changed. For many generations, we saw a way to enter the temple and discover a way to destroy the Star Force. 
Wait, don't these guys but guys betray me too? I don't remember. God hates vegans, but <laughs> according to the Bible, <laughs> look, I, look, I didn't write it. Okay, God wrote it. <laughs> you know, that's that's what he, that's what he said. Seventeenth episode of the first season. Wait, let me look it up. The Squire of Go Gothos. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen this one. The fuck? When first Sulu and Captain Kirk vanish from the bridge? They find artifacts pertaining to gracious living and their host proclaims he is the Squire of Gothos. It's not good, but he acts like a god. <laughs> Give it a watch sometime? Maybe I should. We hope you truly mean to atone for your past evils. Yep, that's true. Temple is a place of sacred power? Why do I have to go in alone? We allowed you and your princess into the temple together and it brought untold suffering. When I'm ready, I'll go in. Okay. I feel like these guys are going to betray me, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> Nobody likes burnt vegetables. Maybe you should have offered a stew. Maybe it's true. Hey, what the hell, bro? What happened to the... Oh, here he is. Is there anything I can help you with? Tell me about your research. I don't know if your eugenics program is a good thing. Oh, I thought you could bring him the head of the one. Maybe I didn't. I don't actually have. What the fuck? What's happening? Why did I walk backwards? He should have offered him a Slim Jim. That's what Abel did. He gave him a Slim Jim. God was like, yeah, this is great. God doesn't sound as nice as people make him out to be. I mean, to be fair, like the, like, Jew, like the God, uh, Jewish God, <clears throat> this is what he was originally, isn't really a nice guy. <laughs> it's, the whole point of like the Christian God was, um, it's like, well, actually, now what if God was a nice person? And then, and then, <laughs> and then they're like, actually, nah, what if God was terrible though? What if he was actually, what if actually he was worse? It's like, wait, what? Oh, no. Where, why are we going the other direction? <laughs> There's nothing to do to bring the one to him, unfortunately. Uh, it's probably, it's probably a cut quest, I bet. Uh, what's up? Oh, I should, let's do a save. Wait, what the? I can touch the gong. I can, why can I click on the gong, but nothing, nothing happens? Don't <laughs> There's Dark Jedi. I can deal with them. Wait, he just says go to the temple now. Okay. Go to the temple now. <laughs> Would you like to go to the temple? Yes. All right, go then. The fuck? What do you mean? I thought you were going to take me. Away to the temple! Away we go!
Oh, that's right. You know, I have done this because they do a weird ritual thing. I think I'm pretty sure they do betray you, but I guess we'll see. I will not perform the ritual if others are with you, okay. I'm gonna speak with our guide. Who the fuck is the guide? Oh, there we go. I will begin the ritual. It will take many hours, but when it's complete, you must be ready. Is this ritual necessary? I can't skip this. Fuck, I'm so son of a bitch. Sad you had to disable comments on your Jake Lloyd video. People, I don't think that was me. I don't think I've made a Jake Lloyd video. I can only imagine what was said. I think you're looking for a different person. People really hate. People really hated Jake Lloyd though. I don't know who that is, but that is sad. I agree. You can't go in there alone. Wait, who the fuck talked to me? We have had a, a premonition. The Force has given us a vision. There is great danger within the temple. We cannot let you face it alone. You might be walking into a trap. Maybe Malik himself is waiting inside. Even if he isn't, that temple will be cr- <laughs> Oh, wait, maybe I was the one who betrayed them. Yeah, whatever, sure. I don't know what he said, but it sounds like the Republic fleet is on the way. I cannot destroy the Starforge alone. I believe you, the Elders have said you wish to destroy- Okay. Why do I get the feeling this is going to take- I feel like this- I feel like- <laughs> I feel like- it's... I don't know, this- this- this chanting seems like a little prob- probo, you know what I mean? Something seems a little weird about it. Oh wait, you're forced to take Jolie Bindo? Maybe you're not forced. Maybe it's just because I maybe because I did it that way. Lord Malak, the preparations are nearly complete. Oh my Every god, not the preparations! The adds more ships to our fleet. It is operating at nearly three hundred percent of our projections. Three hundred percent. That's pretty good. Starforge and I don't know how you achieved that, but all right. Patience, Commander. Oh my God! My new apprentice is nearly ready. <laughs> he looks British. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was me. Well, I still like you too. Long time you too. Oh my God! I'm glad. I'm glad, I'm glad you still like me as well. I'm glad you. I like to see these spell Wookie the same way I do. As you wish. Like a cookie. As you wish, Lord Malik. Hello, Cheese Palindrome. Thank you for swinging by. Oh my god, we're inside the temple. It's so it's dark in here. God damn. Alright, I figured it was probably going to be locked. Um, I'm guessing I can't. Yeah, I got Jolie. Alright, great. Come on, Jolie, Bindo. You're kind of useless because I haven't worked on building you at all. Actually, you know what? I, he doesn't have a Jedi Master. Oh, he does. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> well, it's superb. I guess I can give you a better lightsaber, right? No one's fucked. Yeah, there we go. What do I have equipped here? Strength plus one. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. What is it? What? Let's go. Temple door. Let me bust in. Oh wow, that was very easy. A dark Jedi. Yo, guys, you gonna fucking help or what? Oh my god, they're doing- What are you doing, Jolie? Help out! Stop casting force smoke on your face. Stop casting force bomb on yourself. This, an ion grenade? Are you fucking kidding me? That's all they dropped? Slice the computer. I have 79 computer spikes? Holy shit, where did I get so many computer spikes? I have 113 repair parts. What the fuck happened? Well, that guy's dead. This wasn't really necessary, but I have so many computer spikes that doesn't really matter. 
That's us. So let's not kill myself. Two droids. Corrupt prototype droid targeting program. Yeah, that sounds good. Failure. Access denied. Huh. Okay. That's the droids, right? Yeah. Those ones I'm not worried about because they don't have they don't have shields. Actually, you know what? They probably will get shields though. Maybe they won't. Oh, I just looked at that. Army exterior. Alright. Unlock armory security door, sure. Did it unlock? I guess it did. <laughs> nothing happened. There's nothing in there, so that'd be a waste. Prototype droid command room. Oh, I definitely don't want to blow that up then. Obelisk corridor. Oh, no. Alright, let's go see if we can find this prototype droid command room. Container is empty. Great. Wait, what? Take this! Take an electrocution, you prick! Oh, fuck! Oh my god, it's a big droid! Oh no! Come on! Joe, not Joe, Johanny! Use use useful skills, please! Do something helpful! You're built to use force powers, not friggin' lightsaber action. At least, I mean, at least in this case, you are. There's a bunch of acolytes. You're not gonna bring anybody who's a little slightly more better? I feel like I feel like it should be like a Sith trained more than acolyte rank, you know what I mean? That'd be good. They drop anything? Nope. Alright, great. Alright, okay. What level is this? The end of the game? <laughs> Uh, this what level? I don't know if you want to. I don't know if you want necessarily want to be here to see this. <laughs> Hard to get good training when everyone constantly kills their teachers. I guess that's true. <laughs> you know, all because all because you're the guy who's capable of killing their teacher doesn't necessarily mean that you're. You know, better. You're gonna be better than your teacher. You're gonna be smarter than them, or even better at training. You know, like there's plenty of teachers. They're really smart, but they're terrible at teaching. And that's why all the students suck. <laughs> you know, that's why. I already looted that, right? I'm pretty sure all the dark side voodoo here corrupts the Sith mind, so it might be helpful for indoctrination. Yeah, that's kind of the idea, is they bring you here, you're like a regular je regular Jedi loser, and then they bring you here. And then they're like, it's the dark side, and they're like, oh no, and then they become Sith. <laughs> that's the, that's, that's, that's literally what the hell works. I was already in here, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Alright, what's down this way? I'm gonna have to get ready for bar trivia. Oh my god, hopefully I have go good luck at bar trivia. Hopefully it goes I was gonna say trivial. But usually trivial isn't like I guess Well no, that'd be like easy, right? Hopefully it's trivial. <laughs> Why is it making that noise? Immune to what? What is it immune to? Well, this is where Bastila was. Just... Just on this... Wait, so wait, he just strapped her to this random piece of fallen debris? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. Well, I'm glad there was nothing over there for me to collect. It's super good. Let's go... Go up this way. Oh, I should heal real quick. Is 
What's in here? Oh my god, some prototype droids I, that I... Oh my god, I'm just... Okay. Never mind. I was I was concerned about these droids, but... Yes. Okay, never mind. Yes. Use your force storm, you son of a bitch. I can do the house everything today. Everything is acceptable. I had a sandwich. It was very good. I'll probably... Eat cookies and then regret my life choices later. <laughs> so I'll be great. Wait, did I just? What was that crystal? Was it red? Probably. For, I mean, it's definitely not better than whatever I have. So I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't think I want to go there yet, right? Where's this go? Temple catacombs. No, let's keep exploring first before I go down there. Let's make sure we get everything on this area. I don't know... I think you have to go down to the Temple Catacombs before you can even go up anyway. But I don't remember. Rusted droid. Reactive ashore. I got a billion repair parts. There we go. Go, go fight the enemies, droid. Do thy bleeding... Oh, God. Oh, my God. All these metal boxes just have the coolest stuff. And wow. They're so useful. So fantastic. That one's empty. Great. Environmental shield level three. Okay. Deadly frag mine. Uh, yo, Jolie Bindo, I just want you to blow this up real quick. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Crystal Sapith. Oh, is this the really good crystal people were telling me about? Or is this a bit terrible crystal? I don't know. I can't even use it right now because I need a workbench. I guess I might as well. Let's level up Jolie Bindo. I'll just insta get him to full health. Treat injury? Sure. Powers? Wait. Oh no, he's only he's becoming level 17. I thought he was I thought he was level 17 and he was about to be level 18. All right. Yeah, okay. Oh, whoops. I I should have waited on that. Oh well. Oh, Jolie, but no, there you go. All right, great. What's this? Improved conditioning. I guess we'll get this. We'll get toughness cuz that is useful. Powers now we can get this one. Nice. The best power there is. The best power! Yes. Power! Pretty sure Starforge is the last level, like, whatever you want to call it. This must be the planet before that. Yeah, it's... It, it's... It's the last planet, I guess. More accurate. I didn't want to... I didn't know if you... I didn't know if you were aware of, like, the ending, though. So I didn't want to just be like... Yeah, we're on Ricotta Prime. Before the Starforge, uh, so I didn't want to spoil too much. Even though, I'm, I guess, you know, you're watching it, so it's whatever. Who dares to true to our meditations? I am Revan. I serve the light. Malak told us what happened to you. The Jedi Council has... You are not fit to rule the Sith anymore, Revan. Light side points gained. <laughs> I'm a good guy. <laughs> light side points oh. earned. That's all you gotta do. All you gotta do to be, to be a Jedi is just say that you're a good person. And, and you're, you are. It's a fact. It doesn't have to be true. It just, it, you still get the good, you still get, you still get to go to heaven. You'll get to go to Jedi heaven afterwards. That's what happened to Darth Vader. He's like, he's like, actually Luke Sky, actually Luke, nah, I'm a good guy now. Even though I was a terrible person. But now that I'm dying, I've decided I'm a good person. So I'm going to go to Jedi heaven. <laughs> Looks like, yep, that sounds right. What the fuck is happening? Wow, you destroyed a droid, Good job. Lord Malak told us you still lived. At last, a challenge worthy of my skills. I grow so bored with slaughtering these mindless training So droids. Jedi or Catholic? I intensified my training <laughs> yeah, does it, you just, you just gotta, <laughs> you just gotta confess your sins at the end. And you get to go to heaven. It's fine. Um, Sith Master. This guy doesn't even get a name. Okay. What the fuck? 
Bro, guys, what are you doing? Why aren't you helping? Where the fuck is Jolie Bindo? What? Where are you? What are you doing, Jolie? Why did you go collect a bunch of more people to kill? Are you fucking stupid? I've been to Catholic school not too far off, well. <laughs> oh no. Oh shit, he, I thought he was dead, but he healed. Stop healing, I'm trying to kill you please, okay? Oh my god! Bro! Stop it! Stop healing yourself! There we go. Nice. Oh, there's the armory. Oh my god! Oh my goodness. Oh, and there's the uh, there's a workbench. I wonder if there's gonna be another crystal in here then. Probably, right? Not in that one. Why was that locked? It's just a bunch of grenades. It's a good thing that um, in this game, if you strike a chest uh, that has that's full of grenades, you strike it with your lightsaber, the grenades don't explode. That's really that'd, that'd be I'll be very unfortunate if that happened. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Wow, all that stuff sucked. <laughs> all that stuff was fucking useless. What? <laughs> what the hell? What was that other thing I got? Both in perception? It's all terrible. And you need... What is Jolie Bindo wearing, anyway? Awareness? Uh, we can give him something else, I guess. I mean, or not really, I guess. There's nothing else for me to give him. Your wish? What? Did you find the Opari crystal? No, that's what... I knew it... I, I found Sapith? Supith? I don't know. What is it called? Sapith. Attack bonus 3, energy 4. Yeah, I don't have Opari yet. This must be somewhere. Maybe it's in the catacombs, actually. Now that I think about it. That would make sense. Maybe it's on this guy. Apparently, I haven't looted him yet. Yep. <laughs> it's right It's right there. Dark Jedi Master Robe? Oh, my God. It's blue. Let's check it out. Wow, it looks... <laughs> the Jedi robes in this game are so d disappointing. Easily the most disappointing thing about this game is just the robes. I guess let's give her blue ones, why not? Hmm? Hey, uh, you look good in blue, uh, fucking Johnny. Alright, what do I have? So I have... What's this one? The Crate Dragon Pearl. That one's pretty good. What's this one? Solari? Energy, type bonus 2... Energy 1d10. Oh, maybe that is better than this. Attack bonus 3. So that's just the chance to hit, but my dexterity is already really high. Oops. I was like, wait a minute, that's not good. That's I'm looking at the wrong fucking thing. Damage bonus, energy 2d6. Oh, that is nice. That's pretty nice. Okay. So let's give... So Pilla, massive criticals. Uh, that's not very good, is it? Sigil's not bad. Oh, regeneration force points three. Oh, maybe should I give maybe I should give Julie Bindo that. Frickran Bondar. What's the one that's currently equipped? Sigil. Alright, let's keep Sigil and replace Opilla with Crate Dragon Pearl. Let's give Julie Bindo. Um. The fuck was it? <coughs> Wait, what? Wait, <laughs> where'd it go? Keen. I always forget what Keen does. What the fuck does it do? Why don't I see it? Weird. Alright. Alright, whatever. Whatever the fuck. 
All right, guys, let's go. My damage is now insane. Oh, let's look at my damage modifier. 5 to 42? Holy shit. Attack modifier plus 6. Plus, okay, yeah. Too bad my critical threat range is still terrible. Oh, wait, what did he... He dropped um, some Sith gauntlets, right? I don't know if I can equip them. Strength plus 3? Yes, that's exactly what I need. Let's give Jahani that. Oh, actually, wait, maybe I shouldn't. No, let's give Jahani that, why not? Is there something else that's useful? I hate all the, all the headpieces are really terrible. <laughs> They're all just really useless. What does he have? Strength? Probably should give him... Let's give him Dexterity. That would be way more useful for him. Okay. What is it? There we go. Now's a good what? time to save as well. Why do you have your shields unequipped? Because I literally never use them. I'll probably re-equip them before I go into the fight with Darth Malak, though. But yeah, it's because it's because I just never use shields. So, like at one point they got unequipped because of some reason. Oh, probably when I got captured, maybe I don't know. And I've never re-equipped them. That's why. Is this Fortnite? That's right. You gotta watch out for Goku with his AK-47. That's That'll destroy you. That'll just undo any Jedi. I was about to say I'm surprised Star Wars hasn't been in Fortnite, but then I remembered it, it has been. It's, that's right. They, they didn't do Star Wars in Fortnite, didn't they? Wait, have I actually... I don't know if I've actually went anywhere. I think I did. Oh, yeah, no, I did. Okay. The fuck? Open! Why is it not opening? Oh, my fuck. Seriously? I can't get close enough to it? This is stupid. What's in this box? Let me in. Let me in this fucking box. And you need? Am I looking forward to Starfield? Honestly, I am. I think it's going to be pretty good, to be honest. I know... I know that, like, the procedural generation kind of universe is concerning, but at the same time, like, Bethesda's been doing that since Morrowind. Procedural generation. Morrowind... Um... Actually, no, they've been doing it from the beginning, haven't they? Because even, like, Arena and Daggerfall were procedurally generated. So, I mean, that's just Your that's wish. just how they've always been. Here. So, whatever. It's not a surprise that they would continue doing that. Fuck, <laughs> man, I guess I'm not opening. All right. Hopefully there's nothing good in there. But it's, like, the coolest thing ever. It's, like, a, it's like the one unique piece of Jedi armor <laughs> and the game is in that box. Remember when episode 9 came out, the message, <laughs> the Emperor sends across the galaxy could be heard in Fortnite. Thought that was really lame, but maybe I'm old. The thing is, the thing is, I assumed that when I went into that movie, that that would still be a part of that movie. <laughs> but it fucking wasn't. I was like, wait, you're telling me I was supposed to have been playing Fortnite to understand this, this stupid movie? Are you fucking kidding me? I remember uh, my girlfriend at the time, she went to the bathroom while the, while like the credit, the opening credits were rolling. And she's like, oh no, I missed the opening credits. Like, what did I miss? And I'm like, oh no, don't worry about it. Like, it's just, you know, it, it, I, I was, I was like, it, you know, probably, it probably would have spoiled the movie for you if you saw it. Because I assumed, because it was like, the Emperor's returned. So I was like, oh, well, they're going to show that though. So they're going to show how the Emperor returned. Like they're going to show the, the, the scene where that happens, right? No. And then afterwards, I was like, uh, so as it turns out, uh, apparently, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> you are required to have read those opening credits to have any clue what was happening. Wait, I can't access anything now. Oh, wait, maybe I should reload. I guess I just can't use that computer? Weird. Hopefully? Wait, can I... I opened... I already looked at this, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, it's just something wrong with that computer in that box. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. So, we need to go to the catacombs, which is back this way. 
and down here pretty sure oh, yeah down this way oh we go into the depths of the catacombs oh my god it's a guard droid it's a droid and it guards the temple take this droid I do, you know, I do really respect them. I respect the writers uh, for including that scene where they're where they're like, "How did how did Palpatine come back?" And they're like, "Somehow he returned." I'm like, "Wow." Yeah, that's what I thought as well. I also thought somehow he returned. <laughs> like, uh, there, apparently, I haven't seen the new Matrix movie, but apparently, there's a scene where where. <laughs> <laughs> where Keanu Reeves is like, he's like, why is the Matrix back? And they're like, and somebody's literally like, because the the, the executives wanted more money. That's literally what that felt like. That scene. How did how did Palpatine come back? Because Disney, because Disney was like, we'll make more money if we bring back Palpatine. And they're like, oh my god. Dark side's cloning secrets only known to the dark side. <laughs> any possible any possibilities. We're just going to throw them all out there because we're not really interested in, in figuring that part out. We don't care about how he returned. It just happened. What the fuck am I looking for? Um, I don't know what I was looking for right there, but... Oh, I was looking for that data pad. Shit. All right, what's that data pad say? Um, <laughs> why are they all called data pad? This is so fucking stupid. Simply walk on the tiles in a pattern of an H. Okay, I'm guessing that's the data pad that's relevant to this area. I most didn't date any girls when I was in high school because, one, they weren't interested in me. Yeah, same, man, same. And even if they did date a girl, they would cheat on me with another guy. What the fuck? How many girls were cheating in your high school, bro? <laughs> How big of an issue was that? I, to be honest, my biggest problem was that I was just, like... I was just, like, a really awkward, stupid guy where I was like, what, maybe if, maybe if I just sit here in the distance... And to will it into existence, a, a girl will, wa will want to date me. Obviously not. <laughs> you know, t hot tip for all the guys out there who's like, how do I get a girl to want to date me? Um, you should at least interact with that person. <laughs> I feel like it's just it, the minimum effort of at least trying to interact with that person and you'll have a higher chance than I did. They literally said Warner Brothers wants a new Matrix. I, I, that's what I thought they said, but I wasn't... Because I haven't seen that movie, so I wasn't sure if that was, like, paraphrasing. <laughs> I can't approve of that, because that word is not allowed on Twitch. Although, I guess I can say it. But thinking every girl will cheat on you is what incels do? <laughs> it's kind of true. Wait. Step on the ones with the... Pa oh, in the pattern of an H, right? Okay. Wait, what? Why are you replaying this cutscene? I guess I'll save. I think I fucked it up. Oh, there we go. Tile pattern incorrect? I thought... Oh, I guess it's not an H, is it? What the fuck? What's happening? Why did I just run across the room? The bug! No! It screwed everything up. Now I gotta play this stupid cutscene again. Seriously? Oh my god. I just trying to turn this around. 
I'm guessing this must be the reset, right? Maybe I go this way. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, I did it. Okay. I thought I had to get them to light up as an H, but I guess not. There's nothing in here? There's not even a chest in here. Welcome back, Revan. It has been some time since you last accessed my data. I've been terminated. I almost was, but I'm hard to kill. An obvious conclusion. <laughs> some significant changes to your composition since the last we visit. Your neurological patterns exhibit subtle yet sub substantive alterations of thought patterns and information processing. I need some information. Find all the data within my archives that remain fully intact, please choose. Only for the genetic data on the Rakata. Alright, please wait while I'll, okay. Tell me about the Starforge. Starforge was constructed during the apex of the Infinite Empire's power? Starforge can mass produce immense fleets with a minimum of time and resources. In many ways, the Starforge is like a living entity. It feeds, it hungers, it draws on the energy flowing through all living things. Ability to feed and consume the living energy of the Force is the key to the Starforge's power, but ultimately, it was also what led to the destruction. Okay. What do you mean? Rakata are by nature a cruel and savage species. <laughs> the people that built me are fucking terrible. Starforge fueled itself with the hatred inherent in its own creators. And doing so, it ex ex accentuate these traits from the builders. Starforge is a tool of the dark side, corrupts those who use it, so it can generate greater and greater amounts of negative. Okay. Bills thought they were strong enough to control this effect, but they were wrong. Civil war destroyed the empire, a lesson to remember. Only one who is immensely strong in mind and will can harness the power of the Starforge. Okay. How can I shut off the disruptor field around this planet? Structured as Starforge's primary defense against enemy attack, it can only be activated. Alright. Last time you were here, Evan, I unsealed the doors for you. However, the subtle neurological changes I detected in you are cause a failure in the recognition of I've updated my database to recognize the new configuration of your mind. Okay. Great. Do you know anything about the star maps? Star maps were built on conquered worlds as a symbol of Rakan dominance and glory. Each map showed the whole expanse of the infinite empire with the star forge at its center. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. So they weren't they weren't built as a way to like be able to find the star forge. It's just it just so happens you can use it to find the star forge. Um, wait, what? They separate stars so the slave species could not use them to discover this. Oh, okay. Oh, so each map prob each map at the time would have shown you exactly where the Star Forge was. I'll use the Star Master to find this place. They must have slowly rebuilding and repairing themselves. Oh shit. We're still in a damaged incomplete state. It's not possible to locate Star Forge using Okay, yeah. <coughs> Tell me about the Infinite Empire. I speak the Infinite Empire ruled over 500 plants and was comprised of 10 billion Rakata, a, tr a trillion slaves. Oh my god. But the glory of the Infinite Empire was on war and slaughter. It was inevitable it should collapse upon itself. Millions of lives are lost. And then came the plague. The plague. Perhaps the creation of an enslaved species press a mutation of a natural virus. It killed only Rakata and it spread to every corner of the galaxy. Are crumbled to dust? All evidence of their existence destroyed by the species they once enslaved. I think um I'm pretty sure Bioware does a sim similar thing with um in Mass Effect. There's like a plague that like a group of people built to destroy a certain species. Uh, it's descended from the priest and war guys still waging our never ending civil war. Uh, I guess that's it. Please return if you find yourself in need of something. I didn't finish reading. 
All right, guys, let's go. High school doesn't matter at all. That's true. High school is just like, it's, you know, it's whatever, bro. Other than education, depending on what part of the country you're in. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I, don't, I mean, even, I'm in, you know, I'm in Maine and our education wasn't super helpful. Mass Effect, you mean the Reapers? No, there was, um... One of the, one of the... Maybe it was the Geth? No, that doesn't make sense. I don't know, one of the races made a plague to try and destroy... It was either... It was either the race that Rex is made a plague, or it was the race that Tali is made a plague. Oh yeah, okay. The genophage was created but to keep the Krogan at bay. Who was it that made it though? Was it uh, was it the 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 like typical alien looking guy, the scientist guy? Like, what was it his race? I don't remember his name. Solarians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Turians and Solarians. I think that's right. <laughs> I could be wrong. I could not have no idea what I'm talking about. What's up, Cantina? Not a whole lot. We're just talking about plagues. <laughs> We're talking about plagues at Bioware. Bioware loves a good plague. They're a big fan of it. Is this game any good on Xbox? Ah, uh, I have never played it on Xbox. Actually, you know what? I tried playing on Xbox 360, and I didn't enjoy the way it felt that much. But it's, I, it's probably pretty good. I, you can you can get the original Xbox game and play on the 360. So Switch port is great. Yeah, I'd, if you have a Switch, just play the Switch port. <laughs> that'd be the that'd be the better way to play. There was a major bug that just like had the UI look terrible at, for a little while, but it's fixed now. So I asked because I collect and have it on the original Xbox. Yeah, if you have that version. You can play it. You can play it on the 360 or the original one. You have original console bugs if you play on Xbox. That's true. <laughs> uh, that was a good time to save. Hopefully, hopefully we can get Bastila back. But if not, I guess she, well, she's gonna be dead. <laughs> I guess we'll see what happens, guys. I remember last time I did this, I was able to convince her to join me. I think it's it's a lot. It's way easier to get her to join you if you decide to be a villain. I mean, I guess that's obvious. Well, I mean, if you if you haven't played this, then it may not seem obvious, but you'll see. You'll see it in a few momentos. How come there's a plasteel cylinder here, but it was empty? This one right here, there was just nothing in it. They just forget to put shit in it. Oh my gosh, fucking Bastula! It's Bastula! What's up, Bastula? It's me. It's your boy. We just bust out our lightsabers because we're like, she's a villain now. Kill her. Revan, I knew you'd come for me. The UI navigation is clunky. Yeah, that's the thing that again. that's the thing that hurt me the most that, like that I, I disliked. It was Even hard to more. navigate through. Not since you've changed. Quickly, Bestilla, come with us. We have to escape before Malak arrives. Escape? You don't understand. I have sworn allegiance to Lord Malak and the Sith. I am no longer a pawn of the Jedi Council. What are you talking about, Bastila? Surely you know what I mean, Revan. Look at what the Council did to you. They turned you into their puppet. The same thing they do to all who are Hello, truly Tuna strong Boy. in the Force. They speak of the dark side as if it is something to be feared. But in reality... I didn't get the Johanni romance scene? Wait, 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 wait. How do I get that? The fear of the dark side is a tool to maintain control. What did I fuck up? Oh, Why do you fuck. think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Mandalorian Wars? What did I miss? What did I do? Break free it triggered? Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. We gotta go back, man. I don't want to miss all down that. Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using me this same. Shut up, Bastila. I'm going back. I need to. I need to get Johnny. We need to make out. We need to. We need to. We need to be a couple. <laughs> we need to kiss. It's really easy to miss. How the fuck? How did I miss it? What do you gotta do? What do I what did I mess up? How far back do I have to it just said it's right before Basil, right? If you pick one wrong line of dialogue in her conversation, it will fail. Oh, you mean Basil? Unless you mean Jahani, in which case I've already failed then. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I was wondering if we could what talk. Is it <gasps> of course. No, I fucked it up. Seriously. It 
Is that scene not only available to female characters? I'm pretty sure it's a female character only scene. No, I fucked it, man. It's over. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> that was the main reason why I'm playing as a girl. <laughs> so I can make out with John. <laughs> My life. This whole po this whole playthrough was pointless. I'm so. I don't think you realize how upset I am right now. Wait, there was stuff in it that time. What the fuck? There wasn't stuff in it before. I think when she was struggling with the slavery, you have to recite the Jedi code to her. Again. Fuck! She doesn't know you like I do. Not anymore. Not since you've changed. Quickly, Bastila, come with us. Escape. A pawn of the Jedi Council. Don't go over to the dark side. You say that as if the dark side. They speak of the dark side as if it is something to be feared. But in reality, their only goal is to manipulate those who are strong in the Force. Why do you think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Mandalorian Wars? They knew you would realize your true potential and break free of their domination. Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. I always knew you were weak. <laughs> That'd be, wait, I don't, I'm pretty sure that won't convince her, but I feel like that would work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what? How could you betray us like this, Bastila? I resisted it first. I endured the Sith torments with the passionless serenity of a true Jedi, emptying my mind. But after a week of endless tortures, I finally saw the truth. Malak forced me to acknowledge my anger and pain. He showed me the liberating power of these emotions. Then he made me see how the Jedi Council has denied me what is mine by right. The Jedi Council gladly used my battle meditation in their wars, but they still treated me like a child, like an inferior. They were jealous of my power. What Bro, what I the fuck are you talking about? They, they sent you on a mission all on your own. And follow their code and obey their every order. But all the while, they were exploiting my battle meditation for their own use. Don't be lured by these... Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, these decisions seem far more obvious than I remember them being. Lies. You were the one living a lie, Revan. The Jedi Council made you into something you are not. They programmed you to be their slave. You used to be Revan If Master I have infinite seat. money, do a Yu-Gi-Oh! No tutorial longer. on a cruise ship the size of a mansion and replace a duel disc with real life hologram is free to enter. This sounds I awesome. Was. Until Malak freed me from their shackles. A pity the power you once had is so diluted in you. You could have been as strong as I am now. Stronger even. But that will never happen now. With the power of the Starforge, Malak will destroy the Republic and conquer the galaxy. And I will be the apprentice at his side. Okay. <laughs> Let's make this quick. I don't think I fucked it up. Yeah, okay, we get to talk, right? She's like, how could you possibly defeat me? Because you suck. You were stronger than I would have thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to you. Seems that Malak was wrong. The power of the dark side is not lost to you after all, Revan. I draw my power from the light, Bastila. You can deny what you are, Revan, but you're only fooling yourself. I know the truth. I have seen the shadows inside your mind, remember? I was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the force to the Prima guys off life, eBay for one and two and hoping to deep dives for dial options? Reach. That's actually a good idea. Orange blades are canon in the Cantinaverse. Um, that's how I know you'll come back to the light, Bastila. These are not your true feelings, Revan. You are speaking as a tool of the Jedi Council, as I once did. But now I see how the Jedi used us both. The Council tried to exploit the bond between us. They hoped I would draw out your memories to lead them to the Star Forge. We were slaves to their will, like all who followed the Jedi Code. But in our shared yeah, but the they Star also Wars, told you that. <laughs> you fuck, so you, like you are aware of that. What are you talking about? I resisted it at first. Now I embrace the power of the dark side. That's Kyle's lightsaber Your color? Dark side. Is that what his lightsaber color when he's a Padawan? Because like when you when you 
get to the end of the game, you get a new lightsaber color. It's based on, like, your decisions or whatever. Learn from my mistakes. It's not too late to come back to the mistakes. light. Mistakes? No, Revan. The only mistake you are making is the one you are making now. You deny yourself the power that is yours by right. Only now do I realize how strong you are. You deserve not to my be the cow, but I think you're right story-wise. This is probably like a canon I see version. This now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. I'm not Revan anymore. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power, your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once, long ago, you defied the Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. Turn away from the dark side. Turn away from this path. Bestula, it is not too late for you to be saved. The teachings of the Jedi can lead you from the dark side back into the light and the true understanding of the Force. You are beneath my contempt, Juhani. When you felt the power of the dark side, you fled to a cave like some cowering animal. You know nothing of the Force or its true potential. But you, Revan, the power of the dark side is yours to command. You can use it to destroy Malak. With my help, you can oh, rule God. over okay, the Bastila. entire galaxy. Dark Lord Revan is dead. You are a pathetic fool, Revan. You will be crushed with the Republic and all the. F Did I make the wrong choice? Oh fuck! I fucked it. I did make the wrong choice. Shit. Well, oh well. I had a feeling I was supposed to say, how do I know you won't betray me? But I was like, nah, I'll go with the regular thing, because that's probably what I'm supposed to do. She always leaves unless you join her. Oh wait, I thought she joins you back right here. I could have sworn she I could have sworn she joins she rejoins you at the temple. I guess it it's been a while since I've gotten this far in the game, so. Did I? I think I looted this, right? Looks like I looted this one, because that one's freaking out. Yeah. Have you played much of KOTOR on mobile? I have never played it on mobile. I've only played it on PC and shortly on Xbox. Reload? Nah, I mean, even, if, even if she's supposed to join you here. You know, she's supposed to join you here. It's all right. We'll just, we'll just continue on. We'll change, continue on with the mistakes I've made. Am I getting a Steam Deck? No. <laughs> I don't care about a Steam Deck. Like, whatever. Yeah, I got my Switch. That's good enough. That's good enough for me. Uh, what happened to all the dudes? What happened to all the Ricotta? Wait, let's go, let's go this way and see what they're up to. Two minutes of ad hit, so if you responded. Oh, I did respond. I said I've, I've never played it on mobile. I've only played it on PC and a little bit on Xbox. At some point, I really want to get the Switch version, but I haven't done it yet. I was planning on just getting that and just kind of enjoying it myself. And I was like, ah, I'll, I'll play I'll play this game for stream. Why not? Why not? Let's do, let's do it. Especially since I really want to play Co I want to do KOTOR 2 definitely on stream. Um... So, yeah, so. Uh, might as well play the first one first. Even though their stories, like, barely intersect. <laughs> like, there's barely a connection. What's up, guys? I'm back. You are back when you refused to enter temple alone. We feared you would betray us again. We did not expect you to return. No, exactly. I have to go to the Star Force to stop Malice. And we wish you luck. For far too long, we've kept ourselves hidden away. Right. Perhaps once the Star Force is destroyed, it'll be time for us to leave this world to rejoin the galaxy. See you later, losers. Uh, 
All right, now I gotta run all the way out of this place again. Away! Away, Spongebob! KOTOR Mobile is well done, except for the star... <laughs> except for the starfighter battles. Yeah, well, those, are, those aren't well done no matter where you're playing them, so... I overall prefer the first one, but the story in 2 is God Tier Cray is one of the greatest. I think, yeah, I mean... The first one, the story is just like, it's just a really good Star Wars story. And the second one, I think, takes, it takes what, like, Star Wars's tropes and does a good job of kind of, uh, you know, playing with that kind of thing. I think the companions are way more interesting in 2, and I think the, like, overall quality of life improvements are really good. Uh, but the story just isn't nearly as good unless you have the restored content mod, because then a lot of the story just doesn't make it in. You ever play the Jedi Knight games? I always enjoy Jedi Academy. I've I played Jedi Academy and I played a little bit of Jedi Outcast, but I haven't played a lot. I don't know if I played any. I don't play. I don't know if I played any of the Dark Forces ones. I don't think so. You're back, but where's Bastila? Is she alive? What happened inside that temple? Um. Bastila is, is a dark is a bad guy. The dark side. Bastila? No! No! How could that happen? She was always in danger of being seduced by the dark side, Karth. Bastila was strong, but she was always impatient and headstrong. Malibu Should do a community stream of Jedi Outcast this, multiplayer. This is Jedi Outcast multiplayer better than Jedi Academy multiplayer? The have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. She can still be saved, though, right? Malak has a strong hold on Bastila now. It will be difficult for her to break free of his influence, especially considering her long association with you. Remember the bond that was. I think the first game I streamed was Jedi Spock Academy. Was I did that on the. I did them on that on YouTube bond, channel. She touched your memories. But I think all those videos are now unlisted. Dark taint within you. But there's still hope for her, right? I mean, Revan rejected the dark side, so Bastila could too, right? We still might be able to save her. We could try and we will. I don't know what the fate awaits us, but I sense Bastila still has a role. No doubt. But let's go then before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. With the parts, you may be able to repair the Ebon Hawk's hyperdrive. Alright, great. Super. You yeah. <laughs> Karth, you poor, poor idiot. What the fuck? What the f oh, so I thought I was like, how did this happen? There we go, I fixed it guys, it's repaired. We did it. We saved the hyperdrive. I think there's, I think there's like a... What the fuck, Spice? Why does it have the picture of, <laughs> what the hell? Why does it have the picture of uh, Sith, Sith armor? All right. I don't remember if this is a mod or if this is actually in the game, but I think there's a, a quest where you go enter the the mod, um, like a ricotta cube thing, and then you have to escape. It's like all it's like a big white space. Maybe that was a mod though. Give Candorus that Mando armor. I don't know. I don't know. Is it better? Why well, can't? Okay, I can't give anybody anything. Yeah. What are you? I'm not happy with the way my life has turned. I'm not the Mandalore I once was. I don't even think I'm the Merc. I think... I... The way the Mandalorians... We... Fought. It holds no appeal for me. To rape and ravage worlds for the th Honor in battle. Cheating death. I think I'm something different now. Maybe more. Maybe less. The Ricotta prison quest is real. I th yeah, I thought it was. No. The time of the clans is past. Once my time with you is done, once you have... Maybe the Mandalorian clans will be reborn again. But dreaming about the future is stupid. Is there something? You're... Hey, Jahani, I'm How sorry we couldn't make out. It? What is it you... Oh, fuck. fuck. Got something on your mind, dude? I'm not a YouTuber at all, but I do have a few small game clips uploaded to the show Friends. Recently, I noticed two were set to private with a copyright claim. Five views? <laughs> Wait, what? Somebody... What the fuck? 
Who went out of their way for that? No, I know. Elusive? Me, elusive? <laughs> Obviously, you've never tried to grab a Twi'lek dancing girl after drinking too much Andarin Willick juice. At any rate, I already told you why I wanted to leave. Yep, um, <laughs> I'd seen everything I wanted to on Kashik. Time to go. Time to The white space on. is if you end up opening the box, you need to transport from Corbin to Tatooine. Oh, okay, right. I knew it triggered on Corban, but I, I was like, how did I miss that? It's Oh, because I actually did the thing I was supposed to do. To bed. I'm old. How many kilometer high trees can you find an interest in before you figure you've had enough? I... And there's all the... So I could. I... Interest? Well, I certainly don't have a vested interest. In fact, but... Ah, I'm sure you don't... Your future will come of its own accord. I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. Know me, Sunrider. She came late to the Force, just as you have, and became... Whether you'll follow the same path remains to be seen. For one thing... Nonsense. Have I ever one or at least? All right, cool, Jolie. Uh, what's Karth have to say? If you're ready to, I can't hate you. I tried. I wanted to hold you responsible for all the things you've done. For my... I got the revenge I always wanted when Saul died. But it hasn't brought me the peace that I thought it would. Despite whatever part of Revan is inside you, the, the darkness that must surely be there, it isn't who you are. That's why I can't hate you, why I don't want any more revenge. You don't have to be Revan. You can be so much... Whatever's happened up until this point, there's going to come a time very soon where you're going to have to make a choice, and there won't be any turning back. Well, then I hope I can save you. Okay, cool. All right, guys, let's go. Let's go to, to fucking Starforge. Go to the Starforge. Travel. Away. The Republic fleet must have gotten the message I sent as we were crashing into that planet. I'm picking up a transmission from them now. Why would you? Why would you tell them while we're trapped on the planet before they were a chance of them, a chance of them coming in and immediately crashing? Karth, I'm glad to see you're still alive. We've begun our assault on the Star Forge, but we're taking heavy losses. How did the Sith ever manage to build something of this scope? The Star Forge wasn't constructed by the Sith, Admiral. We don't have time for me to fully explain it, but that space station is far older than you. Maybe we should pull the fleet back and retreat. I don't know if we have the firepower to go up against this alien technology. You can't do that, Admiral. The Star Forge is a factory of immense power. It's been churning out the capital ships, snub fighters, and assault droids that have powered the Sith war effort. You have to destroy the Star Forge now, or you'll be fighting an unending wave of reinforcements. Then I guess we have no choice. But it isn't going to be easy. I can't even get our capital ships into position start bombarding the Starforge. The Sith fleet is too well organized. It's like they can guess our every move and count our every strategy. It's because of Bastila, Admiral. She turned to the dark side and became Malak's apprentice. We suspect she's somewhere on that space station right now, using her battle meditation against you and your fleet. This is Master Vandor. A number of Jedi Knights have joined us. Oh my god, is the Yoda dude survived? If Bastila is using her power to augment the Sith, then Malak's fleet is invincible. Our only hope is to somehow stop Bastila from using her battle meditation. How can we battle meditation is hell OP, yeah, that's, that's for sure. We'll send a squadron of Jedi Knights to the Starforge to find Bastila. Their small ships will be able to fly through the Sith blockade. 
I used to be so pumped when I got to the end of a game when I was young, but now I never finish any of them these days. Seems I ne yeah, me too. I never do as well. That should allow you to move your capital ships into position for a final assault on the Starforge itself. I hate to ask this after all you've done, Karth, but the Jedi may need all the help. Didn't the Emperor use it? Did he? I don't, don't think worry, he could Admiral. use it. The Evan Hawk and her crew are gonna I don't see think there's something he was capable of. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, see you later, Master Vendar. I always wondered where the Yoda guy went in KOTOR 2, does he show up? Nope, <laughs> no he doesn't. I'm pretty sure the main problem is because... Because they weren't allowed to look at the story or the, play the game. Obsidian wasn't allowed to play the game for, like, a really long time during development. Like, all the characters and stuff were had to be created without knowing what happens, really. <laughs> so... Which is why KOTOR 2, like, barely feels connected to KOTOR 1. During the Battle of Yavin, it's mentioned in the Thrawn book. Oh. Oh, so, it, oh, so it's the, uh, the new ones? That makes sense. Uh. Alright, guys, let's go into the Starforge. Oh, this was Legends? Oh, okay. Jahani and... Uh... Hmm. Maybe Candorous. Maybe bring Candorous? Heir to the Empire? Oh, so they did that one? Okay. Who the fuck is that? You made it. Several Jedi oh, already gone ahead into the Starforge. We have to strike while we still have the element of surprise. If we don't stop Bastila from using her battle meditation, the entire Republic fleet will be wiped out. Come on, before they... I'm pretty sure these guys can just get, like, destroyed immediately. So for them unprepared. Did you really we'll think that we these, would catch them unprepared? The We've been, yeah, been attacking Hurry. <laughs> Hurry! Now I'm just gonna watch this entire cutscene. I mean, I could hurry, or I could save you all. I bet they die anyway. A fucking attack. I can't talk to them. Um, let's let's soup up Candorus real quick. Adrenaline. Oh, right, Kel Kel Nord. Uh, Verpine Aloe Mesh. Kelnords is modded, right? You need to critical hits and mind affecting. Pretty sure it's just max upgraded. Damage resistance cold. Damage resistance fire. It's cold fired sonic. Strength plus one. This one's not uh, upgradable, right? Yeah. Whatever. Let's give them that. Um, it's all stealth, right? Yeah. Immunity mind affecting, sure. Sonic nullifiers. Nullifies Sonic. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> I said, you know, shouldn't be surprised. That's what that does. All right. 
cold heat electrical. All right, that's probably what I'll do. Let's grab that. Let's grab this. Let's grab. Okay. Yeah. What? Oh shit! It actually looks like a Mandalorian. Oh my fucking god. I just realized I've never equipped that on Candorus before. Wow! Armor that actually looks like something is totally useless? Holy the crap. Sith will want to cut off our We don't want the Sith to cut off our escape route. We'll stay here and hold this docking bay. You get in there and find Okay. Following a video game that I play that couldn't stand was Piper because she wouldn't stop judging me for stealing and wouldn't stop talking about Diamond City. Why, why are you judging me? All I'm doing is stealing from people and ruining Diamond City. Coolest armor and you get at the end of the game. Don't you? You also get like the Revan armor like after you've beaten everything. It's like, here's some slightly different Revan armor. It's like, great. This would have been helpful fucking ages ago. Oh my god, we're trapped in here. Oh my god, it's Lord Malak, a guy! A team of Jedi have penetrated our defenses. Their fighters have landed on the Starforge. This is not unexpected. The Jedi are formidable opponents. Send the Starforge's battle droids to deal with them. Lord Malak, forgive me, but how can mere droids be a match for the Jedi? You underestimate the power of the Starforge's droid army. Dispatch the droids. Of course, Lord Malak. Of course, Lord Malak, but uh, I seem to think that you're a moron who underestimates the power of the, the Jedi. The Jedi have invaded the Starforge. Destroy them. Destroy them all. Mucha chakabaga. Oh my god, here they come! They're coming to destroy us all. Why are they blowing up the doors? <laughs> what? Bro, just open the door normally. You're the droid who's in charge of the Starforge. The fuck are you doing? You're a bunch of idiots. You bunch of mucha shaka pockets. It's evil Sith man. This is basically what it is. <laughs> his apprentice Darth Bandon is killed, and now it's just a bunch of Darth Bandon lookalikes. It's a bunch of Darth Bandon wannabes coming in. I don't remember if it matters which way I go. Ouch. Bro, what the fuck? The fuck, bro? Brush it. I swear, Ooh. Well, can't go over there. Can go here. Uh, I'll speed us on our way. Oh my god, droids. Droids of uh, un unusual nature. <laughs> Why would you build a droid that has one leg? <laughs> you know what I mean? Why the fuck would you be like, you know, what's the ultimate droid? What? <laughs> one leg. That'll do it. There's, there's no way that'll be a problem. How close are... Level 18. 17. Let's level him up real quick. Street injury. Fleets of strength. Could get implant level three. That would be good. I guess I will. Immunity. Wait, immunity poisons the th level three one I have. What the fuck? All right, that was a waste. What? Oh, <laughs> design flaws in the Star Wars universe. Yeah, like the Adat Walkers. The, why would you? Why would you design a? <laughs> why would you design a? A big robot that can be easily tripped. 
Oh my god, it's a bunch of Jedi! A bunch of... Do they, wait, do they all have the face of... They all have dark... They all have, like, the generic, uh, Revan face. That's hilarious. I wonder if they use a different face if you pick that one. <laughs> my biggest weakness, gravity. More victims for us to slaughter. Okay. Give me your goods. Crystal next door? What? Why would you give me that? I probably can't even use it. What the fuck? There's a... Republic soldier here? Why is, why is he here? Alright, that's where I would have come from. Let's just go this way. <laughs> just get two trees and smash them together. It's true! Why don't you build a, a... Why don't you build a... A tank that can easily be destroyed by two trees. Squad recovery stim? Oh, that sounds really fucking useful. Deck two! The second deck? Oh my gosh, Malak himself! Oh my god, it's the evil Sith wannabe Darth Bandon! Why have you disturbed me? I have news, Lord Malak, about the Jedi. Ah, the Jedi. Did my droids pass their test? Did they destroy our enemies? No. No, Lord Malak. The droids could not stop them. Strange. I did not think there were any among the Order who could survive an attack by an army of the Starforge's battle droids. It... it was Revan, Lord Malak. Your old master is with the Jedi here on the Starforge. Yes, that would explain why the droids failed. Revan was always strong in the Force. Very well. Send out all available troops oh, okay. and apprentices as well. Think they can stop Revan, Lord Malak? No. Of course not. But they will slow Revan down. That will give me the time I need to fully prepare the Star Forge's defenses. I am curious to see the truth. That would be super scary in World War I. <laughs> anything anything in World War II would have been scary in World War I. We'll make an interesting test subject. Okay, I can't go that way. Oh my gosh, a Sith Apprentice is here to get murdered by me. You will fall. Patiently waiting for restored content on Switch to come out since I've never played on PC. They said quarter three, which is until end of month. Are you planning to stream quarter two? I do plan on. I probably won't play the Switch one though. I'll just play the. Let's play the PC one with the mod. <laughs> but yeah, the restored content mod makes that game just like oh, just a masterpiece. And the fact that it's gonna be like official, you know, undeniable. Here it is. It was a Jedi. Uh, that will be your doom! Ah, wait. This is just a debuff I have on myself. Oh, I should probably heal people. Yo, everybody heal up! Heal up, poop! Ow, fuck. What is it? Yeah? What? The war team, war teammates. Take this, Sith trooper. <laughs> just imagine just being like a crappy old Sith trooper, 
and you're like, <laughs> and your boss is like, yeah, so you need, I needed to go take care of that guy. Uh, the super powerful guy is here to kill us. It's like, uh, you sure? Like, I don't think I could take him. And your boss is like, no, you can't take him. But I, I just want you to go fight him anyway. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, no. Somehow he thinks robots can stop a team of Jedi in a powerful situation. I don't know why he didn't already assume that, like, the people on the boarding party probably would have been, like, the powerful Jedi. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's probably the good ones. Probably, they probably sent the good... I mean, sure, most of the Jedi they did send are terrible. They're all the terrible Jedi who suck. But, like, there's gotta be at least one good one who can't be stopped, right? It'll be your doom doesn't sound very Jedi-like. <laughs> well, it's what she says when she's a Sith, and then she never changed her dialogue. She just, she just said the same thing that she, that she did then. She's saying now. Uh, all right. All right, Johanna. Who just died? Nobody? Why did it pause? Okay, probably let's do a quick save. I think they're both level eight. Juhani and Candace are both level 18, I believe. So two more level ups for him. Oh my god, it's a dark Jedi! That'll show you. Yeah, that'll show you. That'll show you. Get him, get him. Die! What? No, jump! Don't run! What are you doing? Don't run to him! The heck, you have a force jump power! <laughs> what level am I? My character's level 20. My character's maxed out. Isn't gonna get any higher, unfortunately. I do wish that level 20 wasn't the max level. But I think they did that just because if you... I mean, that's what... Uh, traditional d and is? I don't know if D&D still has that. But, yeah. but like, usually d d if you get to level 20, like, that's pretty impressive. But, but yeah, I do wish you could go higher. What the fuck? What's your honey doing? She must be fighting somebody over there. Ion defense turret? Wait, why they got ion defense turrets? <laughs> they're trying to defend. They're only trying to defend against their own droids. What the fuck? <laughs> trying to defend. <laughs> Who pushed them? All right, that was a regular blaster. Right. I beat Lego DC Super Villains yesterday. Is, is that a good game? Is, are those are those Lego DC games good? I never played them. They always seem interesting. Twenty in D and D is basically on the verge of godhood, but you still level up. So there's there's a cap for no reason, sons of bitches. You're dead. Uh, level twenty in this game is only on the verge of godhood. Um, if you decided to go force 100% of the way, in which case you can just insta kill everything with force lightning. But if, well, if you don't do that, then you're not really. Holy shit, Johnny's fighting fucking everybody over here. Alright, uh, let's level her up. Powers, what do I give her? The death field, sure. Whatever. Yeah, what? here it is! Looks like somebody was shooting from behind. 
As a DM at the last session, my two players were eaten alive by multiple spider eel creatures the size of cats. Good times. <laughs> oh no. It sounds like it sounds like it didn't end well for them. So let's heal up a little bit. What? Why is there just one by itself? What's over here? Command center. Oh shit. Wait, is that where? I don't know if I want to go there yet. Would you agree that Yoda is as powerful as a Sith Lord? Uh, yeah, probably. Master, why have you summoned me? Without my battle meditation, there is a chance the Republic capital ships could break through and attack the Starforge itself. This will not take long, Bastila. You will be able to resume your battle meditation soon enough. Did you ever play a Lego game on stream? Possibly. Apart, this is a possibility. Starforge. Revan. The Force is bringing us towards a confrontation with my old master. The Starforge has drawn our enemies together, so they may all die in a single glorious day. You must kill Revan to prove yourself worthy of being my apprentice, Bastila. You must finish what began in the Rakatan Temple. Yes, Lord Malak. I sense your fear, Bastila. But it is unfounded. The power of the Starforge will feed the dark side within you. It will give you the strength you need to defeat my old master. I don't Stay know about that, Malik, but all right. Command center while you use your battle meditation against the Republic fleet. Revan will find you here in due time. It is inevitable. Of course, master. I will not fail you again. Okay. Perhaps you will triumph, Bastila. But even if you fail, it will give me the time I need to You're complete making my way my through pretty fast. Of this I suppose so. Defenses. I mean, I could have checked out those other areas, but I know there's nothing else over if there. Revan can stand also, I didn't mean to go up here right away. <laughs> <laughs> isn't this still on hard? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it's on hard. So, I mean, this game isn't that difficult. Especially if you've been doing it many, many times. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me go back down real quick. You've ever played the Lego War of the Rings game before? It became unavailable. Great version, I have to say. I did. That's actually... It is, a pretty, good, it is pretty good. I didn't finish it. I think I got almost to the end, and I just stopped. Is that just Sith power gauntlets? I think it was. Yeah. Can I give that to Candorus? Oh, I can. What does he currently have? A oh, just regular strength gauntlets. Okay. Hmm. I think I saw someone say if Yoda became a Sith, he'd be more powerful than any other Sith Lord. He'd be, he'd be pretty OP. That's for sure. At very least. It'd be pretty unstoppable. Did you go to the end of the room on the other end? No, I haven't done it yet. That's why I'm going back. Oh my god, they just don't stop coming! And they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. And they don't stop coming. What, there's somebody behind me? What the fuck? Where you come from? Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. Fuck. Deck one? No! Did I make it? I think I made an auto save, a quick save pat after this. If, come on, before they. Ugh, oh, fuck. Damn! So much for catching them Shut unprepared. Up. Shut up, we'll be through. We'll deal with these Sith. You get into the Starforge and find Bastila. Hurry! I can't believe they destroyed me like that. I must have been at low health before. 
Oh my fucking god, I have to watch this stupid cutscene. I can't even pause and load. What? Now I can't do anything. There we go. Yeah, there was a quick save. Okay. Oh, I still have to kill all those people, though. Fuck. Oh my god, I gotta do all of this. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Thank you, quick save, Jesus. <laughs> Door! Let me throw! Let me in! Let me in! Oh my god, this is Dark Jedi! Oh shit, somebody poisoned me? What the fuck? Bro, that's very rude. Ouch. Bro, what is happening? Is what a Jedi can do. Yeah. That fuck what is it? What? What is it? You will fall. All right, just let them take care of that. that I guess. Is what, a Jedi what the fuck, bro? <laughs> Stop throwing grenades at me. It's a squad sim. I don't want to waste it right now. Actually, wait. When you fight Darth Malak, you have to do it by yourself, right? Slice the computer, deactivate sentry guns, generate light battle armor, right, heavy battle, just generate customized robes. Vessel and Malak are solo. Oh shit, okay, whatever. I don't remember if I can do choose both at the same time, so I'm just gonna go grab this real quick. Star Forge, check it out! Fuck. No, wait, I can't put this on, can I now? Okay, I can. Look, now I look kind of like Revan. Isn't that really cool? Wait, is this... Are these robes even good? I don't know. Defense bonus 5. Saves all plus 2. Wisdom plus 5. Uh, I think that... Def wait, no. that's just, Is that defense the same as Keldroma? Oh, it is. Okay. So, yeah, it's better. It's the best robes in the game. That's pretty good. You can have Jahani make herself some robes. Oh. I will be your doom. I didn't think of that. Wait, do I have to use do I have to use Jahani to do it? I don't know if she has enough skill to do that. Thoughts on Diablo game series? I've been grinding on the third game and really lose sense of time playing it. I've I'm not really a big fan, to be honest. I've, I've only played a little bit of Diablo 3, and I don't know if I've played any of the other ones. I just, I never really cared about, about like the top-down action kind of game like that. I know I played Lost Ark. I enjoyed Lost Ark, but Lost Ark felt more, it felt better than Diablo 3 did. This. Powers. Oh, now I have the powers. I will be your doom. Game yes. really gets going during the end game once you get past the campaign. You see, I don't, I'm, I'm like a campaign only kind of guy. Like the the end where you just do stuff, where you just grind and just collect stuff. It's like whatever. Man. There's no more story, there's no more you know what I mean? Oh, these guys do not fucking stop coming. Look, Bill, what? Come on, guys, let's go. Before the- Fuck! I can't move! 
What the fuck? V Sync is on. Why can't I move? This looks like you. I don't. I'm your. There we go. What now is. Oh, God. Good. Generate Dura Steel heavy armor. Generate heavy battle armor. Let's do that one. Probably won't even be that much better than what Candorus already has. Only robes are unique. I figured. Oh, it's just. Oh, it's just. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? Okay. I see what you're saying. <laughs> Oops. Yes. What happens? So if I do it with Jahani, does she just get the same robes, or does she get she get her clothing? I feel like she should. If she got her clothing, that'd be worth it. Oh wait, she can't even do it. Oh, okay. What? All right, Jahani. We give you the same clothes, I guess. Oh, I can only do it once? What if I do it here? Alright, there we go. Huh? What is it? Okay, so I can do it once at each terminal. That's bizarre. Alright, Johnny, let's give you some Star Force drops. Let's go, guys. We're, we're kitted out now. Now we need to go kill Bastila or whatever. <laughs> Hopefully save Bastila. Hopefully we don't need to kill her, but, you know, I guess we'll find out. You have couples robes? That's true. It's too bad we're not actually a couple. Oh, I'm so annoyed that I fucked that up. Have you played any Elder Scrolls recently? Like, just of my own free volition? Like, not work-related? No. I don't think I've played... I don't think I've played an Elder Scrolls game that wasn't, like... I think the last time I played an Elder Scrolls game that wasn't work-related was maybe... Oh, you know what? I played the Dark Heart of Skyrim um, update when that came out. I was going to do that for... I was going to make a video of that, but then I didn't. So I guess that kind of was work-related. But for the most part, I, I played it because I was enjoying it. What's a game you can shut off your mind and just play? Genshin Impact. <laughs> That's the game I played. I just shut my mind down. I just... I just do shit. Uh, probably plenty of other games. That'll show you. I will be your the only problem is there's only so much you can do in Genshin Impact before you can't do anything. You shut your mind down and open your wallet. Exactly. I get the wallet. I get my credit card out. I take my. my I set my brain aside. I'd start rolling. That'll show you. Will not even bother fighting these guys because I'm not like at this point I'm just I think I'm, I think they're max level anyway. <laughs> there are worse games you could play, it's true. I could be playing Roblox. Shut my mind off to that. You probably spend as much money on Roblox too. 
Cause they, don't they got the Robux? All right, we've seen this, so we might as well skip it. So apparently, I can't skip it. Fuck. <laughs> Thoughts on the Inquisitor's lightsaber design? It's, I mean, it's not my favorite. It's kind of, it is kind of dumb, but at the same time, it's supposed to be a. <laughs> Why is Darth Malak so cartoonishly villainous? What the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, their lightsabers, like you know, they're kind of dumb, but they're also supposed to be kind of dumb, you know? Like they're supposed to look threatening, but. Aren't really. Here it is. That is what I said I can do. You're dead. What the fuck are you guys doing down there? No, there's no door. This all, doesn't look like there's a chest. Actually, I can. Right, there's nothing down here. Inquisitor lightsabers look scary to non force users. That's, see, that's the thing. They're supposed to look intimidating. But if, like, you actually. If you really think about it, it's just not, you know? It's just a. It's just a. It's just flash. All, all bark and no bite. Take this. Take this. Like that. Let's get this. Let's get this metal box. What's in this metal? Oh wait, I should equip. Um. Who the fuck are they killing? Yeah. You guys are still fighting dudes down here. What the hell? Actually, wait. What is Johanny wearing? She. Oh, she's also wearing. That. Okay, good. So many useless belts. So little time. Sith Tremor Blade. Plus two sonic damage. Cool. Give him this in the Sith Tremor Blade. What's the gentle pulse again? Attack modifier. Sorry, yeah. Let's do. Does one of these have balanced? I don't think either of them do. What is it? Alright. Wolverine claws but lightsabers? That sounds that sounds like a real bad idea. After making low effort and honestly bad content blows up and then you work a ton. Yes, all the time. That's the Unreal Engine video I did. I just put no effort into it. And I made a few mistakes. And I just put it out in the ether. And then it and then and now it has like 500,000 views. And it's like what the fuck, bro? Why is this why is this garbage video have that so many views? To me, I spent six months learning how to make music and make small releases and post two random demos on my phone. I did exponentially better. You just, you just don't know. Like you have an idea that something is gonna, you, you, you can have an idea that something's what? gonna perform what better, but 
Like, you, you, you just can't anticipate that for some reason this one thing just performs that much better. Uh, okay, sure. Skills? The same? Same shit. Powers? Uh, f I don't fuck. I don't know. This one, I guess? Sure. Whatever. What? Would you try spice or dead sticks? <laughs> Space heroin is for war losers. Space weed, on the other hand. Space weed every day. Uh, no. I mean, I've never tried any drugs aside from the one I'm once to prescribe in real life, so I probably wouldn't try spice. <laughs> it's very unlikely. I did 2k views, but still a ton considering I had 10 subs and that kind of niche stuff. Yeah, when you're when you have like nothing like that, you know that that many views is like holy shit. That was like um the Oblivion, the Oblivion, uh, blah, the first Oblivion video I made. Best Oblivion quest. That's what that was like. I'll show you. That is what a Jedi can do. That's I tried an edible thing and felt nothing. My friend who gave it to me said the same thing and said it might have gone bad. Did, or did you just like, you just get like an act, like, you just got the wrong thing. Like you, you, you thought you were buying edible gummy bears, but you just bought just regular gummy bears. I mean, that's what happened. Certain point of view is one of the best Star Wars songs ever made. Nah, man. I can tell you what the best Star Wars song ever, ever made is. It's, um... The Star Wars Galaxy's Boba Fett song. <laughs> Fuck, what's that song called? It's like, my backpacks got jets. I'm Boba the Fett. I bounty horn for Jabba Hard to finance my vid. That song, that's the best song. Can I jump from here? No. Right. What are they doing to this door? They're just putting the force on it. To the order. Oh. I'll show you. Oh. 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 I'm pretty sure Basil is right through here, but I could be remembering wrong. Fetch vet by MC Chris. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> they, they got... <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be surprised it's just an obvious name like that. Or no, Mick Chris. Is it MC Chris or Mick Chris? I, I just realized I have no idea. <laughs> Revan, I knew you'd come for me. I'll never give up on you, Bastille. I know you can still be saved. You're wasting your time. I've seen the Jedi for what they are. Weak and afraid. The Sith I always say are MC. the true masters yeah. of the Force. You've forgotten that lesson, Revan. Now you must pay the price. Here on the Star Forge, the power of the dark side is at its strongest. This time, you will not defeat me. Nah, I'm gonna defeat you pretty easily, bro. Brosif. Brosoroni. Uh, let's see if I can do this without uh, buffing myself. Actually, wait, I could just, let me just do that. <laughs> Holy shit, I fucking took out half her health with one hit. Now, okay, never mind. I you thought this would be harder. Of your former self. You're still a formidable opponent. I can't even imagine the power you must have wielded when you were the Dark Lord. You were a fool to give it all up and follow the light side. I am strong in the light as ever was in the dark. The dark side has made me stronger than I ever was before. I have a greater command of the Force than all but the most powerful Jedi Masters. 
As Malak teaches me the greatest secrets of the Sith, I will unlock more of my potential. Eventually, there'll be no limit to what I can accomplish with the Force. Uh, Malak will let you become will never let you become that powerful. Have you forgotten the ways of the Sith already, Revan? Eventually, I will challenge my master. If I am tell her to shut up, and that she has CGI hand, hairs on her forehead. I become the new Sith master. Then I will take on my own apprentice, and the cycle will begin again. This is the way of the Sith. It is how we assure our leaders are always the strongest and most. <laughs> Why is she talking like she's been a Sith for a billion years? You've doomed yourself to an endless cycle of death and betrayal. No, Revan. It is you who are doomed. Ah, uh, fuck. Did I fuck it up? Do I have to kill her now? Okay. Weary. I can sense it. Your strength falters. The light side is failing you while the power of the Star Forge re-energizes me. Soon this will all be Well, what are you talking about? You've done like no damage. You've been misled by the dark the side. The dark side will always triumph over the light. Malak has assured me of victory. You can't defeat me here on the Star Forge. You can't. Uh, okay. This is not possible. You have rejected the dark side. You are a weak and pathetic servant of the light. How can you still stand against me? Why can't I defeat you? Uh, because the, the light is stronger than the yes, dark. I see you speak the truth. I am no match for you. Please, for the sake of what we once shared, do not make me suffer. End my life. Oh, quickly. she she made there a major no 180. Way. There's no need for me to kill you, Basil. What's the choice do you have? I have fallen to the dark side. I am the apprentice to the Dark Lord himself. You cannot let me live. She makes Malik's speech, speech seem more motivational than it was. I was redeemed, Basil. You can be too. You were a special case. The Council had no other choice. They needed you alive so they could discover the location of the Star Forge. It was an act of desperation. It was my responsibility to watch over you, to make sure you did not slip back into your evil ways. I was supposed to protect you from the dark side. You did protect me, Basil. But at what cost? In protecting you, I fell to the dark side myself. Is that the price of a Jedi's redemption? Must another of the Order fall to save me? I cannot allow that to happen. Please. Uh, okay, my Persuade is really bad, so I don't think I'll be able to succeed at this. Yes, I could join you in your battle against the Dark Lord. That alone would not... But how would you be able to trust me? How do you know I wouldn't turn on you when you face Darth Malak? How do you know the Dark Side wouldn't make me betray you again? I trust you, Bastila. You play a dangerous game. Are you certain you wish to take this risk? I could end your life and gain Malak's favor with a single stroke of my lightsaber. Yeah, you won't, though. You are brave and foolish. The dark side has... Oh, fuck. What? Well, okay, she's dead, guys. <laughs> I fucked it up. Um. You need that persuade, it would seem? Yeah. I think you're right. Usually I, usually I build it so that way I can have, like, a ton of persuade and everything, but I didn't do it that this time. You have to have enough, um, there. like, intelli intelligence? Formation. Yeah, you have to have enough intelligence, move but... In. Of course, my persuade is horrible. <laughs> I might have been able to succeed if I tried. I guess I should have tried. Oh, well. The first time I played this, I failed as well, so I wasn't able to convince her. Uh, then the next time I succeeded and I got the cannon ending, and then... And then I did, and then I got the dark side ending. Most of the times I usually don't beat, like when I replay the game, I usually don't bother beating it. I just play until I've had enough. Charisma? Well, no, if you have, um, 
If you put enough intelligence, you can up your persuade points enough that uh, it doesn't matter. Although, actually, with the four, with the Starforge robes on, I might have had enough charisma. No, that increases wisdom. So my charisma is also terrible. You mean the skill point? Yeah, 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 the skill point. Well, um, so far I don't think I've achieved doing anything that I wanted to do with this playthrough. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't complete Basil's quest. I didn't save her. I didn't get to make out with Jahani. <laughs> All of it is failure. Uh, pretty disappointing, to be honest. Is there anything over here? Wait, why was I facing the other way? Don't I have to go this way? There's a door there. Where do all these doors go? Nowhere. They don't go anywhere? Okay. I see, I see. This is where Darth Malak went. This one I can open. Let's just say. That looked, I'm pretty sure that's where he is. Wait, what's this door over here? I don't think I'm going to be able to open this one either. Nope. Wait, what happened to my companions? They're just gone. They're just like, yeah, we're out of here. To fuck. See you later, bro. We're done. I guess I don't need that squad recovery stim pack anymore. I like playing dark side in this because I can kill Karth. Even when I kill Karth, it still feels pretty bad. You're like, oh man. Like, oh, I was, you know, he's, like, I don't want to kill him. I'm sure he sucks, but like, dang, man. Container is empty. What? Wait, what are these supposed to do? Have you heard of the cut ending? Wait, what's the cut ending? I might have heard of it. Okay, those containers are useless. Type E spike bin? Why is there nothing in them? Is this something I have to do? I don't remember this at all. I kind of rem I remember having to do something with this, but I don't remember what. Oh, maybe I need to do a puzzle to get into Malik's area. Maybe that's what it was. Whatever, we'll find out in a minute. Oh, or not. Oh my god, it's Malak and two d normal Jedi! Oh, oh my god, Malak, why did you do I'm that? I'm tired of this game, Revan. You have been a thorn in my side from the moment I seized the mantle of Dark Lord from your feeble grasp. You made a mistake coming here, Revan. The Starforge fuels my command of the dark side. You are no match for me here. And this time, you will not escape. If you're a girl in romance, Karth, and you're dark side, Karth will talk to you one more time after you kill Malak. They cut the ability to choose the light side at that moment, kill evil Bastille, and die in the Starforge, Karth. Oh, yeah, I have seen that, actually, yeah. Malik is a good villain man. He's pretty good. This game is so S tier, I agree. For the current life, would you prefer a serving droid like C-3PO or a droid like HK-47? Well, I don't really know what I would do with a, an assassin droid. Um, I guess C-3PO. The Jedi will show you mercy. Is that what you call it? You think stripping away your power and your identity was an act of mercy, Revan? I would rather die. I was saved. You can too. Spoken like a true slave of the Jedi Code. Say you are an insignificant speck beneath my notice. I have surpassed you in every way and accomplished what you never could. I have unleashed the full potential of this Rakatan factory. You had no idea of the power within this place. Its very walls are alive with dark side energies. And now, my old master, 
I will let the Star Forge itself destroy you. Oh yeah, okay. Now I gotta. That's right. Now I gotta do a bunch of stuff. Ah, uh, puzzle time, guys. Joints are literally nothing. If you have enough, like, if you have enough wisdom, and you're strong in the force, these joints just, like, just get obliterated. Right, so I think I have to go to go access these. Monitors, those monitors you can save the droids. Nice. This thing makes it if you choose HP Force, you can build a time machine and send them back to World War One. <laughs> how would I? How would I build a time machine? To tell exactly. <laughs> how would that lead me to being able to build a time machine? Anyone have any thoughts on the new Ordering show? I lasted about thirty minutes and got bored. To be honest, it's not bad. Just didn't draw me in. Uh, then you probably quit like right when it starts to get interesting. <laughs> yeah, the beginning is like a really long, like boring. The beginning is a really long, like, boring exposition dump, uh, but then it gets pretty good. It gets pretty good after that, and the second episode is pretty good, too. I'm not even sure if I actually need to disable these generators, now I think about it. Where does this guy come from? I thought someone was crying there for a second. No, it's just the fire department. Freaking fire. Always interrupting me. The freaking fire department trying to save people. Sickening. What is happening? Why are you going to this person? The fuck? Oh, that one has five computer spikes? Oh, shit. The fuck? Stop. <laughs> Alright, I guess let's just let's shut this down. Shut them all down. I don't think this. I think, yeah, this one's still going. Fuck. Uh, okay. 
you need them need more spikes the containers have them out oh wait do they keep replenishing oh no i don't think they do oh he's just on my t what he's just a good guy now okay oh no that was oh okay That was one of the good guys. They replenish once per robot spawn. Oh! Oh, shit. Okay, that's good to know. I mean, it's too late, but that's good, that's good to know. To the factory! Alright, let's... Hyperbalance stimulant. Um, upper adrenal strength. Upper adrenal... Oh, no, actually, fuck. Well, I think you can only equip three buffs at a time, so, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. Actually, let's find out. Or maybe... Oh, no, you can. You get more. Okay. Well done, Revan. I was certain the defenses of the Star Forge would destroy you. But I see there is more of it. You are stronger than I thought. Stronger than you ever were during your reign as the Dark Lord. I did not think that was possible. Would you rather face a Raincore from Star Wars or a Mountain Troll from War of the Rings? I don't know, basically the same, aren't they? I guess it would have been who would have tougher skin? Who would be harder to, to pierce? Single combat with a dagger. <laughs> Maybe the troll then? I don't know. The light side is stronger than you know, Malak. I attempted to try and capture you alive, Revan. Then I could break your will and bind you to me as my apprentice. You will be a far greater asset to me than e perhaps you are too powerful to be my apprentice. I betrayed you when I realized... You're still making the same mistake, Malak. I cannot Malak. deny your resilience. You survived my first betrayal thanks to I feel like the Mount Troll from Lord of the Rings is faster and tougher. That's you true. The destruction of Taris, Trolls die in sunlight. Yes, yeah, so you just need to wait long them. enough. <laughs> just you as long as you can escape it for long enough, eventually it'll you with the turn into a rock. Itself. Fate and destiny have conspired. We have been inexorably pushed to this final confrontation, Revan. I see now that this can only be settled when one of us destroys the other. Once again, okay, we shall each other in single combat, and the victor will decide the fate of the galaxy. He has such a long fucking lightsaber for no reason. I wish it could tell me what my buffs are right now. Oh, Trino Stimulants. Did that not do anything? Oh, it did. Fuck. Oh shit, he's doing so much fucking damage. Oh shit. Oops. I don't... Do I have a... Oh, I do. Oh, I have 30 of them? Oh, fuck. the band tuning is going to ban us all. <laughs> what? Use your verpine shield? Yeah. I guess I should I guess I should use all these stimulants afterwards. Where the fuck is it? Uh, there we go. Cuz they all just actually wait. How long? Do the shields just last until they're destroyed? Let's just put it on for now. See what happens. Well done, Revan. I was. You are. I. I. What's. Oh, Holy shit, he's still doing insane damage to me. Fuck, bro. Oh. 
I forget what these force abilities do. Since I never use them. Okay. Attacking character makes a pose roll using a d20. Force immunity. That's all I have is force immunity. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, now I need to like destroy his captive you Jedi. To amaze me, Revan. If only you had been the one to uncover the true power of the Star Forge, you might have become. Your Force Lightning is human batteries. But you were a fool. Yeah. All you saw was an enormous. I gotta destroy all his dudes. All first. you ever imagined was an infinite fleet rolling forth to crush the Republic. Is there some point to this? The Star Forge is more than just a space station. Look around you, Revan. See the bodies? You should recognize them from the Academy. These are Look around you. The first time I saw this, I thought they were supposed to be clones of Revan. Because I always pick that same face. <laughs> and so I was like, oh my god, he's cloned to me a million times? I have not let them become one with the Force. Instead, I have brought them here. The Star Forge corrupts what remains of their power. Once you have drain life, you can use that too. Oh, that's right. You cannot beat me, Revan. And once you are beaten, I will do the same. Is this episode nine? Basically. It's just better. It's episode nine, but better. More makes more sense. Can I loot them? No. What? Well, now that they're dead, this battle should be over in like a millisecond. Oh wait, there's more! Fuck! I forgot there was ones up here too. Uh, should be one more then. My defense is gone. I don't know that my dexterity is already at the max it can be. What the fuck, bro? That's so bullshit. I finally get myself healed up and he just insta-kills me every time. The squad recovery stim pack. Oh, oh. Fucking nothing, shit. Oh. Oh. Give me a 
these two shields do? This one's energy bludgeoning piercing electrical. What happened to his lightsaber? What the hell? Where did his lightsaber go? Wait, that was all that freaking shield could take? Seriously, it's already gone? All right, there we go. I think I set it up well enough now. Yeah, he's over. It's over. There we go. <laughs> this final battle is literally just, can you set up the shield well enough you, that you can fight him before he kills you? Impossible. I, I cannot be beaten. I am the Dark Lord of the Sith. Nah, you suck. The light will all be stronger than the dark. Still, still spouting the wisdom of the Jedi, I see. Maybe there is more truth in their code than I ever believed. I, I cannot help but wonder, Revan, what would have happened had our positions been reversed? What if fate had decreed I would be captured by the Jedi? The nostalgia? Yeah, man. Light, as you did. If you had not led me down the dark path... Classic, classic place, Darth Vader, suddenly, suddenly I'm a good guy. Now I can go to Jedi, now I can go to Jedi space heaven. It's okay, I'm a nice guy now. I'm sorry I started you on this path, but you chose to continue down. I suppose, I suppose you speak the truth. I alone must accept responsibility for my fate. I wanted to be master of the Sith and ruler of the galaxy. But that destiny was not mine, Revan. <laughs> it might have been yours, perhaps, but never mine. And in the end, as the darkness takes me, I am nothing. That's true. See you later, loser. <laughs> oh yeah, check how cool I am. <laughs> There you are. What happened? Uh, and his dad is over. That's great news. I knew you could do it. No time to celebrate just yet. With Bastila dead, the Republic has broken through the Sith fleet. The capital ships are in bombardment range. And that means we all have to get out of here right now before this entire complex comes down around our ears. Everyone else is already on the ship. Let's move. All right, sounds good. Oh my god, it's the final battle! They're gonna destroy the, the Forge of Stars! Yeah, destroy that random one piece right there, that'll do it. <laughs> Why aren't they firing? There you go. We did it! We destroyed one piece of the Star Forge! It's over! Admiral Dodonna, we've hit their main orbital stabilizers! Everyone pull back. I don't want to lose any ships when that space station goes down. We did it, Vandar. The Sith are routed, and the Star Forge destroyed. Hooray! But at what cost, Admiral? Where is the Ebon Hawk and her crew? Oh, 
Oh my god, there it goes. It's still trying to forge, but it can't do it. It's not good enough to forge anything. It's got blow up. Oh my god, it's gone into stardust. The dust of the stars. But where's the Ebon Hawk? There it is. It's the Ebon Hawk. The Ebon Brock. We couldn't let you start the victory party without us, Admiral. I'm sending an honor guard to escort you in. You'll be getting a hero's welcome when we all get home. Yay, hooray! Would you rather watch a remake of Lord of the Rings but it's millennial references and 2013 fashion? Or a boomy, boomer anti-vax take on Star Wars where the Empire's the elite? You have <laughs> just Malik, those sound real bad. the Starforge and broken the spirit of the Sith. We did it. For this, I am proud to present you each with the Cross of Glory. The <laughs> highest Thanks. honor the Republic can bestow. That's the highest honor? All right. Okay. From Coruscant I mean, to the Han Solo Luke got a sweet-ass, big-ass medal. All I got is this little thing on it. The okay. Who the fuck are those Jedi dudes? Who the fuck are they? Oh, my God, Master on Vandar. of the Jedi Council. Defenders of the galaxy and sworn protectors of the Republic. I too would like to honor you for your actions. We Jedi now have another tale to weave into the grand history of our eternal order. The redemption of Revan, the prodigal knight. Hooray, swim back go, I'm Revan. You will be recognized as I like the that they do this on Ricotta Prime. Oh shit, I never even noticed that. Age, yeah, that's really bizarre, isn't it? <laughs> must remain <laughs> As if it's their planet vigilant. now. For one day, <laughs> it's like, yeah, we'll just land there, I guess. Upon yet again they probably set up a Jedi temple on Ricotta Prime, right? I'm willing to bet the they do. Of the dark side. For this is the destiny of the Jedi. <laughs> what the fuck face is that? What the hell? What is this? What is happening? Dark side Jedi Temple. I mean, that's just all the Jedi Temple, right? Or it's all waiting for to be to be the dark side. That damn smile. But it was that smile. That damn smile. <laughs> Alright, we can skip the credits. Who cares? Who cares about all the people that put their hard work into this? We did it over. We solved. It's finished. The game is done. What game am I going to do next? Ah, uh, that's a good question. I might actually try... I was going to do this a while ago, but then but then they made it so nobody could play it. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV. I'm really interested in checking it out. Because I haven't really... I know, I know people really like it, so I'm kind of curious. May the uwu be, be with you. What the fuck? Place Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, you know, to be honest, I just didn't really get into it. I just was like, uh, I, don't, I don't know. It's not for me. Did you put all the KOTOR VODs on YouTube? I'm going to watch this next. Ah, uh, no. I'm either two or three behind, I want to say. Maybe two behind, including this one, In including this one. Ebon Hawk flyby. Look at all these sweet ass. This is, um, where is it? Oh, maybe it's in KOTOR 2 that you can watch the... Oh, weird. I guess it's KOTOR 2 that has... the Republic Commando movie that you can watch. Probably. I suppose so. Did they have the Re Republic Commando trailer? That's what I was looking for, man. I was like, where is it? Where did it go? Coach are gonna happen too. Oh yeah, I'm probably I'm probably gonna take a little bit of a break, but I'm probably gonna play that start that soon. So look out for that eventually, at some point. That game is dope as hell. Uh yeah, so I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys. Uh fuck. Whoops. I'll see you guys on what is today? Today's Wednesday? Yep. I'll see you on Sunday. There will be a stream that day, unlike last Sunday where there wasn't. And uh, there should be a video on Saturday. So I'll see you guys then as well. Bye, Mr. Maestro. Yes.
great stream. Well, it was a good stream. We finished the game, and that's always good. Because <laughs> I seemingly don't do that very often. <laughs> Alright, guys. Goodbye.